Hello everybody and a very good afternoon. Welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us this Tuesday where we are live at 1 and 5. Yeah, we've got an amazing lineup for you today as we hurtle headlong into Valentine's Day tomorrow over on the website. We've got the uh, Valentine's Day section which you can take a bit of a look at. Uh, but today it is all about Craft Along and right now launch day. A little bit later on from five, we have got our Craft Along with the Easter collection, which we're looking forward to. If you want to get involved in that, you can see all of the details over on our social pages as to what you need to join us and Craft Along. However, let's talk about the business in hand. Oh yeah, we are talking business. We are talking the brand new launch, a launch which has been eagerly anticipated. One which I think since we showed this on the HSM preview show a few weeks back. A lot of people uh, have been wanting to grab it. And I know, talking about HSN, this particular range sold out on HSN. I also believe uh, that it sold out uh, on QVC. We have it here for you today, and we're super excited to bring you the Floral Creations Collection. It is brilliant if you've ever wanted to create your own floral bouquets for your home decor for your cards for your boxes then this kit is going to absolutely be for you you've got everything that you need within it and the showstopper brings you a whole host more as well i'll take you all around the kind of mathematics of you know what you can grab what bundle does what in just a few moments time um, but I want to introduce you to in just a few moments the lady who is going to be inspiring you and taking you through everything oh by the way the showstopper already 20% of the stock gone I'll take you all around that in just a few moments time however let's say hello to the lovely lady over the other side of the studio who is back I'm so super delighted. One of my absolute faves. <laughs> Always brings a smile wherever she goes. As she drives up the motorway from Barnsley, there's rainbows and birds tweeting behind her. She, <laughs> she, she is like Snow White. She brings happiness and sunshine wherever she goes. She's your friend and mine, my TV wifey, the Barnsley bombshell. <laughs> Debbie Robinson. Yay! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm ex I am excited to be back. Um, it feels like ages since I've last year, so it's lovely to be back. Um, and it's lovely to be launching this one. At I have to contain myself just a little bit. I promise I will behave myself. I'll try not to talk like a runaway train, but I want you to be aware you need to get this in your yes. life. Because this is that set that is not only going to be super useful in terms of maybe a little embellishment that you just want to finish a card with but focal parts of card making scrapbooking home, de home decor home decor is going to be oh contain yourself debbie contain yourself because um <laughs> i seriously adore this it's one of the most simplistic things we've brought to you but wow what an impactful um collection this mm. is because it is all about those gorgeous floral and as we've called this creations we are giving you what you've asked for we talk about this a lot in terms of our crafting stash we want flowers to add to those projects you are getting all of those dyes to cut out your flowers in a jiff, in an instant, super, super quick. And then all of the foliage that goes Gosh. with it as well. And, and of course, we've got to have some sentiments to go with it have. too. But do you know what I love about this? Oh, oh yes. Don't get excited about a plastic, Debbie, but honestly, Debbie, don't get excited about a plastic <laughs> box, but I am excited about a plastic <laughs> box because this is what you are going to be able to do. Now, on a night time, I've told you this before, I like to keep my fingers busy. Yeah. I like to keep them out of the biscuit jar, out of the snack jar, because, uh, you know, that's what we tend to do on a night time yeah, when we're we not do. in our craft rooms. Um, and for me, this is the perfect one because you can have this with your little mini at the side of your, or your oh, yeah. midi. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have your electronic die cutting machines. And you can sit with this on your table, craft all your flowers and all your foliage and mm. get them into your box so that when you come to craft instantly you go straight to your flower box they're there they're ready to go and I genuinely mean it you're gonna have years and years and years of usage out of this one set mm -hmm. I can promise you the cardstock's fabulous it's mm. been proportioned because we're getting proportioned 
proportion. It's been what? It's been put into size, the right proportional size. Oh, yes, size. proportioned. Um, it's in nice in proportion. 30 sheets of beautiful coloured cardstock, linen cardstock at that as well, and perfect for your die cutting. Um, I'll let Ben talk about the rest of it, the showstopper. Wow, what a showstopper that is. But let me tell you, once they've gone, don't worry. We supply you with cardstock every day of the week, every year, year in, year out. So you've got all the cardstock in the world that you can be die cutting these flowers into. That's your pattern cardstock, that's your mirror cardstock, that's your glitter cardstock, as well as your normal plain coloured cardstock. It's an absolutely gem of a, gem of a collection that oh, I am excited to get to creating with. I will breathe. I will shut up. <laughs> I will throw back to you, Ben, because um, I've just, I just get. We can want you more. We want more. We want more. <laughs> you can tell when I get excited about a collection when you can't shut me up because this one is an absolute must have. Do you want to see a few samples? Yeah, go on, and Come then on. I'll talk. Well, I can I just actually give a little bit of a shout out to our lovely Marie. Oh, I did a post last night, Ben, that we shared, and I only accredited Bianca to this. Now, um, Marie Jones, if you're watching, I do apologise. Marie made this one. Um, I absolutely mm -hmm. love this one. I love all of them. Bianca's work stunning. Marie's work stunning. The design team work is stunning. This is the kind of thing. For me, this is an home decor project. I'm not going to lie. This would be in a frame in my hall or in my craft room or in my room or wherever it is that you want to put this. This would be gifts. If you make to sell, make your own decor projects, get your cheapest chips frames, get them in there, especially those from that very famous Swedish one. Do you know what's got the D? Deep ones where you can put those in and it creates that lovely dimension oh my god definitely put those in there but that's not all because I have got some beautiful samples whoops now she's oh. throwing them away Careful. do you want to add something to your envelopes well darling you can Ooh. because you can put a little belly band around it what who the? needs a wax seal let's laugh in the face of a wax seal <laughs> <laughs> pop on there your lovely florals I'm only kidding wax seals do look beautiful actually Wax seals and with. flowers with. Love it. Boom, yes. What about your gorgeous, beautiful gift boxes? Love this one. Big shout out to Rebecca Davis for this one. Absolutely incredible. I love that. Um, honestly, My stunning. Goodness. But you know what? You can strip it back. Simplistic. Simplicity mm -hmm. in itself, absolutely stunning. Um, take it into all types of your gorgeous um, card folds. Look, there we go, the wax seal. Well, not laugh in the face, because it looks perfect together. Uh, but shape them, add as much as you want, as little as you want. Um, absolutely stunning floral creations kit with everything you need from all the flowers, all the foliage, all of the lovely papers, and including, of course, everything that you're getting in the showstopper, which Ben will go through in a moment for you. You've got your box to literally die cut to your heart's content on a night time like me get them in there get them stored i mean i've already been started but i've still got loads more to do um and get your flowers ready for when you want to add that touch of elegance to any card and i mean it any card whether it be one two three four flowers or whether it be the full cup kick caboodle whether you're going to put it all on there absolutely incredible um so take stop. a breath i will stop and breathe i'm back to you ben <sighs> Somebody's excited. Isn't it brilliant? No, isn't it brilliant? Normally the most excitable person in the room and she is now 200% more excited than she <laughs> normally is. So yeah, you, you can tell, that's why we love her, you can tell it's going to be a busy old day. Uh, Radical Rachel's on the socials for this one and with us is Sandra Dundas who says, Hi Ben, Debbie, CTV crew, social media superstar and all my crafty chatty chums, showstopper order in with a few extra bits. Um, also Lois is with us as well saying good morning everyone from Ohio. Hello. Laurie joins us saying, hey everyone from the snowy Medaya. Uh, is it media or Medaya? I think it's Medaya. I uh, had to purchase this early because I was afraid of a sellout and some other goodies jumped in my basket. Uh, Melanie D says, good morning. Hello. Sarah Leahy says, hi Ben and Debbie and Crafters TV team. Hello. Hi also to Jeffrey Langley says, happy Tuesday. Teresa Campbell's in. Uh, good morning to Linda Borchert who says today it's my birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Linda. Get yourself, or you, you say you've already got the showstopper. Treat to yourself your birthday. Nice one. Emma says, I've ordered this collection earlier. Kathy Green is in saying, Hi, Ben and Debbie, from a very snowy day here in Mechanicsburg. Whoop, 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 whoop. 
Um, treacherous driving to work, take it easy. Uh, Mary's in saying this collection is a must have. What a great idea to make and then store your flowers. Um, Sarah McKinney, I've ordered the showstopper. That's why over 20% has gone already. Kim Rice, I use this set at the weekend on scrapbook pages. If you already got it from elsewhere, feel free to send in pictures. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Uh, Alison Alkali, good morning everyone from NYC. It's snowing fast and furious. Uh, good day to watch CTV and start cutting some flowers and leaves with the floral creations. Life does imitate art. Oh, I like that. Very deep. Uh, Lindsay Gibson says, hello, Debbie and Ben. So happy to see you two back working together. Aww. I'm happy. I'm happy. I was with my crafty bestie yesterday, with my crafty wifey today. I mean, it couldn't get any better, could it? Couldn't get any better. Thank you. Sheena tomorrow, of course, as well. I mean, what a week. Leanne Thursday. Becky Swan Friday. It could only have been a better week if I'd have had Debbie Fisher squeezed somewhere in all of that, but sadly not. You know, <laughs> I'll, I'll just have to make do with what I've been given this week, won't I? Uh, Sally Cripps says, Hey up, Ben. Hey up, Sally. Uh, and Debbie, I hope you're both well. I've been to the dentist, so I'm working from home today, but I've ordered the flowers. I cannot wait for the set to arrive. Gorgeous samples, as always, says Lois. And Lynette says, I couldn't resist this gorgeous collection. The showstopper is the one that you need to be grabbing. That's the best value for money, where you will get your brand new floral creations kit. So every Everything within the box, as Debbie was just going through there, you have got 32 dies. You've got 11 stamps within that set, which is all of your sentiments. You're going to get your storage box and the dividers. Plus, you'll get a little A5 instruction sheet in there as well, which will give you a bit of an idea. You know, if you are fairly new to this, as to how you can uh, arrange your florals to look beautiful. Then you're going to get your two pads as well, okay? And as Debbie said, been um, sized proportionally to what you need so they're going to run through your smaller machines for you you've got a springtime and a summertime uh, and that is your floral creations kit however if you go for the showstopper i'm coming around the front if you go for the showstopper taking a live walk there um multi-talented you're paying an extra 20 pounds or 20 dollars to pick up all of these other goodies as well which is over 40 pounds or 55 dollars worth of content so we're going to give you uh, luxury linen card stock from the fabulous fuchsia collection we're giving you the kingfisher collection linen card we're giving you the magnetic die story stand talk about a perfect partner look at that yes and oh yeah. perfect oh, oh, oh. partner Absolutely. Do you know what you're thinking? Yeah. Put them all on there. Well, and then well, yeah. you just take them off when you want yeah. to use them. Oh, yeah. Keep that up there all the time. Oh, yeah. You Love it. You think we just throw this together? No, no, no. We thought about this. You're also going to get your glue and you're going to get some embellishments included in there too. As I said, it's £20 or $20 extra for what would be £40 or $55 worth of goodies. That's why the majority of people are going for the showstopper. That's why over 20% of the stock has already gone and it's always the case of we have a smaller amount of the showstopper available for you. We have a bigger amount of the floral creations on their own. However, I wouldn't rest on your laurels and go, oh, I'll sit back and buy it later because we don't have that kind of stock level, all right? So if you like it, which I would imagine if you're into crafting, you love your crafting, you love paper crafting, you love making cards and boxes and home decor, flowers are your bread and butter, aren't they? I mean, I know they're not, they're flowers, but you know what I mean. Flowers are what you need or what you want. This is a collection for everybody and I think it's really nicely priced as well. So jump in and grab it early and then you can sit back and watch all of the inspiration with Debbie. Uh, Julie Barlow just says, I haven't watched for a while, but I am tempted by this new launch. Uh, couldn't resist Lynette Price, just bought it, just beautiful. Um, and also Bianca says, hello everyone from Hamburg. Uh, flower dances can always be used. I've just ordered this set too. W people worldwide are buying it, so let's get into it. Any comments, any questions, fire them in. Any pictures, if you've already got them, send them in. And we will make it a super duper interactive show, but go swiftly, friends. Right. Let's get over to the lovely Debbie, who is about to wow us with flowers. <laughs> I knew. I just, I just knew there'd be something in there. Wow us with flowers. <laughs> Love it. I should have known that were coming. Um, I've actually popped all of mine onto a magnetic sheet, so all of mine. Um, and I can tell you right now, this is going to be a firm favourite, the one that I'm going to use over and over and over and over again to create all of my beautiful flowers and all the accessories that you need to yeah. create the extra. I'm going to, however, keep it very simple to start with. We're going to move. I'll show you. I'll show you some of the things in a minute. But I'm going to just take one flower. I'm going to take one centre because I absolutely love that one. I just there's something about that, um, and I love it uh, for a start. I think that's going to look 
spectacular in the middle of there. Absolutely. Um, and then I've taken just like some small snippets of cardstock of the different coloured, which I've got from all of these gorgeous colours. Yeah. Um, you've got 12 colours in total, so there's no repetitive there. You're getting six in this one, six in this one, spring and summer. What a perfect way to kickstart yeah. it. I mean, the lights are getting, the nights are getting lighter. Seen a bit of sunshine recently. five, honestly, last night. Was looking it? out of the window and it will light outside what's going off. I was like, where did that happen? Um, did you see the sun? I yeah. went to Bristol on Sunday to go and see my daughter. She brought that. the sunshine back with her. <gasps> Beautiful blue skies. It was a bit nippy, mm. not going to tell fibs. No, but, but the sun's good. Beauty oh, I love sun. Mm. Just want a bit of sun on my skin. That's it. Just a little bit. A little bit of sun. Uh, now, this is going to work perfectly with any of your die-cutting machines. Um, for speed and ease, I'm going to use, of course, the simplicity without electricity, <laughs> the little mini one. That's a good catchphrase you got there, <laughs> I Debbie. I don't know where I got that catchphrase from, really. I mean, really, where did I get that catchphrase from? Hey, Debbie's spreading the word down at Hobby Maker because apparently they I use it down there indeed. now as well. Mm -hmm. I have done indeed, um, although they've added more to it. This is Mr Nigel Maybe TV hubster down there. What? I know you I know you don't mind. What? I know you don't mind. What? Mr May. Uh, if it was anybody else, <laughs> I'd have a problem. However, However, as it's Nigel... Yeah, so it's simplicity without electricity for portability, accessibility and more craftability. Is that what he says? Yes. There you go. Ouch. Nigel. <laughs> Nigel, if you're watching, I don't mind you. Uh, borrowing TV wifey, but don't extend <laughs> my catchphrases yet. <laughs> Love you, Nigel. <laughs> if there's anyone That'll else, I don't mind Nigel doing it though. <laughs> He's a good friend of ours, isn't he? He is I'm indeed. Nigel, love, the, love, love the fella. Absolutely <laughs> adore him. Um, and I'm just going to run through all of these. Now you're probably thinking, Debbie, you've got all those flowers. Why are you just starting with the one? But I'm going to, I'm going to tease you. I'm going to start simple. We're going to work upwards. That's how I like to do a launch. Let's keep you work. I just, do you know what? I can't wait to see. And mm. what I can't, can't wait to hear is everybody's ideas on what they're going to use this. Oh, are yeah. you using this for card making? Are you using this for home decor? I mean, home decor in my head straight away I'm thinking of my frames mm -hmm. I'm thinking of like um, do you know like because um, obviously I've got my craft room one yeah and it's it's I, I sweat it's not that much less it's something about craft I can't remember what it is I, I painted it all anyway but I'm gonna add some flowers to it and now I've got the perfect dice to do it is that where you're going first with yours in home decor or are you gonna home decor first, first yeah I mean is. I've done obviously this this has been for, for the show but home decor oh, I, I've got so many ideas in what how I want to use this yeah I wonder who's got the craft along. There's bound to be a craft along with this, surely. Um, we but we'll try and find out for you. But um, yeah, if if it is me, please, please, please. If it is me, yeah, please. Um, please let me have the craft along. <laughs> I really want the craft along because I've got so many ideas. Although I do want two. What? I do want two hours, not just the one. I've got oh, an yes. hour craft along today. First for me. An hour long. An hour long craft you, along. You haven't gone and prepped a two-hour project, have you? That we're going to have to squeeze into an hour. <laughs> No. No. We're good to go. Well, no. 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 Oh. You've got the craft along, I've just been told, Debbie. Woo! 28th of February. Oh, yes. Oh, wait a minute. Whoop, 28th whoop, of February. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, that's. Uh, oh. Ooh, I better get my skates on. Two weeks uh, tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I, I can't start the work on my project yet because this Saturday. I'm in Chesterfield. Are oh, you at Chesterfield store? I am. Where's the bin gone? We were talking Where's about the bin yesterday? gone. The bin's disappeared. I'll just oh, go back down there. There's okay, a bin. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm, just I'm vanished. I'm like, where's he gone? I'm coming um, over. Yes, I'm in Chesterfield this yes. weekend. I would say that if you want to um, grab some tickets to come on, because I'm teaching some classes there, I would say to you, uh, go and have a look at the store. The bin. Um, however, I think they've all sold out. Oh, well, I'm not surprised. Um, I would say the 64 people I'm seeing on Saturday. Huh. 64 people. What did you do? Two classes of 32 or? Uh, four classes of 16. Oh, wow, OK. So I've got all that to prep for, so I can't quite prep my... Um, yeah, I've got all that to do, so that, that's a lot of kits to get ready. What, what, you, what are you doing down there? Uh, we're going to do the aqua markers oh, okay. with an embossing folder. Oh. Um, a request by Sarah from the store, and anything Sarah asks, I mean, she knows she's... I love the girl to bits. We started our crafters' companion journey together, so um, I love it a bit. So whatever she asked, I would oh. accommodate. Um, I'll share the project, though, because I have got, I've got that already. It's just the prep I've got do to you, do. Do you... Um... 
do you enjoy doing live craft alongs more, like do you enjoy doing that in store more than you enjoy, enjoy doing tv or is it a different sort of level of i like a bit of both, a bit of I both. Li i've always told you i like to mix it up i like to keep things um varied so that's why I love to do the shows here, the shows at Hobby Maker. I love to do my Facebook Lives. By the way, Ben, I'm now on YouTube, for those that don't know. Uh, I've got my YouTube channel set up with the Crafters Companion. Um, I don't know if I've got as many as you, Ben, because I what? know you've set yours up. No, I think you've got more viewers than me. I've no idea. I I, I'll, be, I'll be totally honest. Oh. <laughs> I've stuck it. I've took oh, the, the trauma of getting one up. Oh. I can help you load stuff up because... Can you? Yeah. Can you help me with some ideas as well, then? Because it's been something that people have been asking me for a long time. You know I do Facebook Lives. I like to mix things up. Yeah. Uh, but I've had people saying to me, could you do things like, you know, YouTube Lives as well as your tutorials? And I oh. said, yeah, yeah, I will, I will, I will. Uh, so I have. Um, but, yeah, I like to keep it varied. So I do love teaching as well. So I, I do love to go out on demos. Uh, but, however, this one is definitely going to be a class. Yeah. It's an hour. We're going to do some techniques. If you don't get the project finished in the time that we've got allocated, do not worry, because you can take it home with you and finish it at home. Aww. I've tried to keep it with an hour in mind. <laughs> And talking and chatting do and everything else. Do you get a lot of regulars? Do you get the same people back or do you get uh, new people? Yeah, get some new people. I've got one lady travelling from Surrey. No way. She's coming up from Surrey. Yeah, she Chesterfield. Me. You what, look? Surrey to Chesterfield. Surrey to Chesterfield. Wow. Yeah. I mean, people, well, I mean, I would travel that far for Debbie Robinson, to be fair. I'd oh, go further. Oh, bless her. She's doing other things that weekend, though, as well. Oh, OK. She's doing the corridor. She's going to love it. Oh. Um, she, that, that's <laughs> Manchester, isn't it? Oh, my God, yeah. Mm. She will love that, I promise. She what are you most excited that. about? Corry tour or crafting with Debbie Robinson? I know what I'd be most excited <laughs> about. And it wouldn't I be the Corry this, tour. I love, <laughs> the, I love the Stacey. If Stacey's watching, she's going to come down as well and she's going to fetch Cooper. Finally going to get to meet her doggy. Um, so, yes. so And I have regulars that come as well. Some can't make it um, just due to other things that are there. But, yeah, it's, it's practically full. So, um, I'm not sure... I've, I'll be totally honest, there were four places last week. I know that the lovely lady from Surrey has got one of them. I'm not sure if there's any more. Um, you'd have to ring the store to find out. But I do love to keep it nice and varied. That keeps me, as a crafter, as a, you know, doing what I do, it just yeah. keeps everything nice and um, fresh. Just exciting. to say as well, you've, got, you've now got 812 subscribers to your channel because um, Radical Rachel's just become the 812th follower oh, on your page. Oh, bless her. Thank you very much, Rachel. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's, very, it's very much appreciated. Mm -hmm. um, there is only one video up at the minute, but there will be more. Hey, quality, not quantity. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got all of my six, oh, I'll say six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Debbie, you can't count, seven flowers. It's a good job I've got some more of these uh, <clears throat> cut out as well. 25% of the showstopper gone. Oh, well, look, you can see, just get yourself loads cut out. Because mm. what's going to be really useful, um, I nearly, Ben's called, the name. I nearly called you Nigel. Outrageous. <laughs> you know how much I said earlier on, I like Nigel May. <laughs> I'm suddenly going off the guy. I forgot myself then. <laughs> Listen, it's been a busy few days. No, it's been fine. really busy. Um, so I've, I just forget my bearings sometimes. Craig but called I'm... Dave Ben down on holiday. I know he did. The day. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. I do <laughs> love that. Now, what I would say to you is there is a lovely embossed feature, so you could use inks over to em enhance that embossment. 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 That's a new word. I like Embossing it. Embossing feature. Uh, but it's florals. Let's get some shape to it. Get your ball tools out. Get your sponges out. You can use the back of your stamping mat if mm. you want to do. But what we want to do is we want to add... And this is why I would always do this with flowers. We want to add some dimension. We want to add those extra... Uh, oh, Dr. Jamie! That is close. Uh, you want to <laughs> add... <laughs> so I wonder what you were doing then for a second. <laughs> oh, Jamie! <laughs> with these close-ups, you are really spoiling us. No, I don't know, because it does... Oh, uh, hey, hey, look at that one. Oh, my God, the nails! The, <laughs> don't look at my nails, they're ready for doing. Are they? I've had them on a month. Oh, they I was need just about the... to say they look nice. Oh, bless you. They're getting changed this week. Uh, they are for, getting changed this week. No idea what to get, though. Oh. No idea. Because I have enjoyed these. I think these are quite nice, so I might have something similar. Uh, oh, my God, have you heard Nicola? She's telling us more... more, more 30% <laughs> nearly. We are a, a, a fly's eyelash away from 30% of the stock gone. 
I think people already have seen like, it's the, the potential, the potential. Yeah. I mean, it's not just me, you know, die cutting these out and just showing you a few things that you can do with it. This is one of the most useful tools, you know, to, to die sets for any crafter to have because it's a flower. We joke mm -hmm. all the time about flowers and butterflies, flowers and butterflies in the world of craft. It's your bread and butter, isn't it? It is it your is. bread and butter. It is it's your bread and butterflies. That. It, it is, <laughs> but it is going to be one of those uh, that allows you to add either one or two to a project. Mm -hmm. It's going to allow you to um, do a full-on project if you want to do. I, I mean, I'm, I'm trying my very hardest here to get all of these shaped. Um, because I want to add as much as I can, although I was keep, I did say to producer Nicola, I'm going to keep it simple. What a fibber. I'm, I've cut out loads. I do apologise, Nicola. What are you like? I did, I did say to her, I'll keep it nice and simple first demo, I promise. We're not going to go OTT, not just yet. Um, and this is me not even cutting out any foliage. Foliage? Foliage? Oh, it's getting posher. It's getting posher. Uh, but yeah, I, lo I love, um, I love, and it's nice to do this as well because it gives you your florals, those um, 3D feels to them as well. So you use that, you. I mean, you can use bone folders if you want to use bone folders. Yeah, you can use a pokey tool. Yeah. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to mean that you've got to have a ball tool with a sponge to do this with, but always a nice tool to have. Mm. But look at that, I've got quite a few of those already. Lovely array of colours. Oh, well, they're from that lovely kit, so mm. let's not just forget. Linen cardstock, cut to size, cut to perfection, that fits through your mini perfectly, three by six, um, or a couple of them into your um, into your midi, or onto your electronic die cutting machines. Um, and then, of course, you've got all of this. You've got all of the foliage as yeah. well to be playing with, to add to, which I will be doing in, in future demos. Just for now, though, I'm going to keep it nice and simple because... I mean, we've got lots of things in our crafty stash. Lots and lots of things. So I've got some, um, as, as you can tell... I like to make the most of my uh, things. So I've used, um, for my mat and lair, I've used one of my um, nested circles to create yep. a frame. And I've used one of our lovely um, embossing folders, which is the, do you remember the, those dual? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with a curvature, with a, um, with a sentiment in the middle. Uh, this is from the congratulations one. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm gonna mount that onto the back of my um, cardstock. Kay. Now my cardstock itself, it measures in at um, seven by seven. And then just take down the, as with anything, for framing, I do a quarter of an inch. But you can do any size of framing at this. Actually, I tell a fib, I went half an inch with this first one to create a bit of a deeper, deeper border, like so. Let me just pop that on there. And then I'm going to layer up now. Oop, that wrong way. The right way around. Thank you. I, to I don't know why I give myself tongue twisters, or I don't know why it comes out all tongue twisted. Yes. The excitement so is what it, it is. It is. And, and you know, did you hear what Jamie did say? Because I, I was talking to him before the show, because we mm. were doing a bit of filming um, when I came up. And I did say, I do apologise. I talk like a runaway train. I am aware of that. I've been aware of it all my life. It's not something I can change. I can try and talk slowly, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm an excitable person. Are you? Especially with things like this, uh, but I have been like this all my life and mm. anybody who knows me mm. Whether you come to a class whether you meet me in the street or as one lady in a public toilet in Medwall um, Whenever you what? meet me <laughs> The strangest maybe, place I've been recognized. Let me just tell you. Maybe don't tell that story. Oh seriously um, But I am I am an excitable person. I get mm. more excitable and the, when I get more excitable I talk like I'm a steam train. Whoosh. Do you know one of those that, what do they oh, call them? The straight through ones. Yeah, like the ones a, that go straight through. Yeah, like a non stop cross country train. I can't help myself. I, I, like. I'm, I, you know, I, I'm sorry, I, I yeah. can't help myself. So I know that, do you know, especially. bullet. <laughs> <laughs> So I am aware of it, um, and I do know that it's just who I am. And unfortunately, I'm 55 years old. Too late now. 55 years young. Yeah. Let's get that I bit right. I think you're my age, 45. Hang on a minute, oh, I'm not 45. Talker, I thought you were a year talker. older than me, 45. Smooth talker, you were kept. Yeah, <laughs> dig, dig yourself back out of that mistake. <laughs> uh, but yes, so I can't change. No, I never and change. I can't, you love me the way you are. Thank you. love you just the way oh, you are. Oh, you sweetie pie. Yeah, true story, though. Right, are you ready now? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is create a nice little bit of a wreath. Um, now then, you can put your inner parts to start with on the inside before you get started. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm just going to add, let's um, add 
There we go. That's quite nice of this, isn't it? You get the flowers, you get your stamens, you've got stems, so you really can create. And if you do get a bit oh, stuck, yeah. there is that. I mean, obviously, we've got all the inspiration from you here, but you do get a little booklet or a leaflet in there, don't yeah, you? absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm just going to put all these in the centre. Yeah. This is what I'm saying about having, you know, your box full. And this is why I love the addition. I'm really excited. I know it sounds stupid to get excited about a plastic box, mm. but I can't help it because <laughs> it's storing everything. No, to I know. One, do you know what I mean? For, a, for us as crafters, it keeps everything in one place. And I think it's going to encourage you to, to spend an evening, like you said, maybe just cutting out a load of flowers, popping them in the box, and you've got them ready for when you want to use them rather than having to do a load just exactly. before doing the project. Exactly. Um, Lowell's just asking, Debbie, can we use glitter card and mirror card yes. with these dies? Yeah, anything. Anything you want to cut out. Mm. You, if you've got a Gemini, you know it's not, you know it's, you know it's going to tackle it. Mm. Um, vellum. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, because this, this is me, ideas are, 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 I'm always, when I get a collection, um, I was thinking about vellum pattern, vellums, um, uh, any cardstock. I genuinely mean it any type of cardstock you're going to be able to die cut with these and create these beautiful florals um just absolutely fab i love them mm. now then let's keep on going with these okay. middles and these centers whilst you're sticking a few comments um sensational sky saying hey ben and debbie and all budding crafters Ooh, it's flowers that's what you said <laughs> I, don't i look pretty in with the flowers to be side just here look with all the little flowers around me if you pushed a few down the bottom here, we could sort of decorate my little box and make it all flowery. Oh, yeah, that yeah. looks cute. The, eh? Oh, a flower amongst the flowers. Oh, look, let's do... Oh, <laughs> like a waterfall of flowers. Love that. Who said a thorn amongst the roses? That's outrageous. Who said um, that? <laughs> uh, Sensational Sky says, I feel a song is appropriate here. Miley Cyrus and flowers. <gasps> I don't know that one. What a great... Gr that's a good one. Oh, that I should one? have done that on my social last should night. Have done that. Should have done that. That sounds uh, too hip and cool for me. Miley Cyrus flowers. What's really hip and cool? Oh, oh. No, that is not hip and cool at all. That is not, Nicola. 35% uh, of the stock has gone. So we've sold, what did we come in on? We sold 15% more of the stock inside the first Half 20 hour. minutes of the show. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wow. People can smell a good deal. People are, people are waking up and smelling the roses. Well, if I remember rightly, did this sell out super, 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 super fast? On 8 to 10? Yes. Yes. And yes. also sold out on... Did it sell out on QVC as well, I think? Oh, well, I'm not surprised. Mm. I'm not surprised. And now then, this is when you can have a play out with your uh, layout of your flowers. Let's go in. I think I'm going to have the darker green. Uh, let's go in blue. And then I'm just going to pl I'm going to place these on before I actually stick them down so that I've got just the right amount and I'm not going OTT. So if I just put, yeah, that, that's where I'm going to go. Beautiful. Save those to one side. Well, you, where are you going? Oh, where are you going? There you go. Right, hot glue gun. I'm going to use my hot glue gun at this stage because um, I want to add uh, quite an instant tack to it as okay. well. What so, else could you use, though, if you didn't use um, that? Any wet glue. Okay. Tape pens. Mm. Uh, chunky glue. Yeah. Uh, 3D cloud. Uh, Wait a minute. All purpose. Why can't I remember the... What? Chunky? Chunky. Tacky? 3D. All purpose. Tacky. All purpose. Any. Take pens. Yeah. Uh, dot, uh, those little dots. Do you know the dot um, foam pads? Foam pads. Foam, I foam I pads. Foam pad. yeah. Did you say foam pads? Yeah, foam pads. Sorry. Uh, I mean, whatever sticks you could use, couldn't you? Yeah, foam, yeah absolutely. Oh, foam pads? You just said foam pads. <laughs> for the third time. For, for the fourth time, you can use foam pads. Um, <laughs> what if you fancy, really? Uh, <laughs> Miley Cyrus says Lillian Quark, Ben, do the wrecking ball. Now, I know that one, and I ain't doing that. Oh, I love the wrecking ball. I'm up for doing most things. One of things, my favourites. I'm, I'm not recreating that video. You wouldn't find a ball big enough to keep me up, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I did say for the first demo, I'm going to keep this nice and simple. And then Debbie's open and praying it wasn't an upside down card. Mm. We'll keep it nice and simple. Yeah. But do you know these flowers that I've cut here? Mm -hmm. Guess where they're going? Where they're going? In, in the, the box. box. In so the I've box. already got, now Jamie, I don't know if you can show just so Ooh. that people can see. I've already got some flowers that are made up, so they've got all like their uh, stamens in the centre. 
at different sizes. And then I've got other ones here that like are, and I've put them into like the order of the flowers mm. and the shapes and the sizes. So large, medium, small. I've got my stamens cut out in those lovely dotty centers as well. Um, if I had saved some of those, I would have perhaps put mixed those up into there as well. Yeah. Got some in my foliage there. Cause of course, if you wanted to add those little extra bits, you could be adding those to the back. Now I am going to be doing that in my next few demos, uh, but I think just to get started with, to keep it really nice and simple, um, really nice and simple. Now it's the right way around. Um, this is a really glorious collection. It is, it is honestly something for you as a crafter you are going to find a use for these dies all the time when you craft whether you are using just one or two as that added little bit to your project on other collections mm -hmm. whether it's going to be like a main focal part i mean <clears throat> just take a minute to admire it once more it My is a work goodness. of art yeah it is and marie apologies yet again because that one is simply stunning it really is um, and I'm thinking maybe craft along home mm. decor project something big something statement wise depends on how long I've got an hour or two depending on what I do but seriously you as a crafter you're gonna love it the additional box I think is a bonus for me in my eyes that's a bonus you've got the card start to get yourself started well what with you've got the rest of the card stop there in that showstopper deal but then think of everything that you've got in your crafty stash Christine Mahoney, are you watching? <laughs> because think of all the paper pads that you've got. Yeah. And you, Christine's not the only one. There's lots of you out there that have got all those different collections that you could then be cutting out. I'm not talking just like papers. Mm -hmm. We're talking vellums, glitter card stocks, mm -hmm. play, Centura Pearl. You mm -hmm. can mold it. If you can mold it and shape it, cut them out in the flowers and add to your projects. And I can't wait to see the inspiration that I know you're going to share with us all across the social pages, because that's what those pages are there for, for that inspiration, sharing your makes, sharing your talents. And believe you me, I've seen some beauties already. So <sighs> get it while you can, because once they've gone, they've gone. That's it. And um, you do, yeah, Evelyn, you get the storage box, the show stuff, the storage, storage box, the storage box. Oh yeah, Sean Connolly. The storage box is in the box. You get it with the kit. So you get your 32 dies, 11 stamps, storage box. You get all of your cardstock as well, um, your papers that Debbie was using. So that is all included. Um, so the storage box is inside here with your dies, with your stamps, with your instruction sheet and your dividers. And you get your papers included as well. And then all of the other bits that you're seeing down here. So the magnetic stand, the um, linen cardstock from those two collections, plus the gems, the adhesive, that is within the showstopper and it's an extra uh, 40 pounds or 55 dollars worth of content that you're only paying 20 pounds or 20 dollars for that is why over 35 percent of the showstopper stock has already gone it is flying i think you know what it's one of the most usable collections that we've launched in quite a while because as we said flowers and butterflies it's your everyday crafting isn't it and also this is one of those kits because you can um bespoke the flowers that you're making even when you run out of the papers here like debbie was saying you, you will have tons more papers in your craft room that you can use i mean for goodness sake we've given you more linen cardstock that you can craft with as well but once you've run out of this you can then pick and choose and use all the other papers in the cardstock that you've got in your craft room to make those flowers particular to that time of the year to the season to the occasion my goodness me, um, it is such a usable collection and of course it's never ever going to go out of date. So grab it whilst you can. Um, Sandra is saying a Simon the Box as an overflow may be a good idea. Yeah, if you're making loads, we had those on Craft Vault yesterday, the Simon Storage Boxes. They would absolutely be brilliant if you're kind of making a mega batch of these. Beautiful card. Thank you, Debbie, says Lois. Um, and the foam flowers are nice, says Laurelinus. But these will be much easier to make and will go through the post office much easier too. Keep the comments coming through. Keep the questions coming through as well. Any more questions you want to fire in and um, we'll come back very shortly with more inspiration. But more importantly than all of that, get yourselves to the checkout. If your showstopper is in your basket, you need to be checking it out because by the time we come back from this break, we're going to be over 40% gone. So if you've got it in your basket, get it now and we'll come back in a moment after we found out more about Krieg Lernt.
My name's Craig Laird. I work at Crafters Companion. I am a craft expert where I get to play with lots of crafty goodies from Crafters Companion and hopefully we're here to inspire you with lots of crafty things that you can do. So my crafting journey, that started many, many years ago, actually just over 20 years ago. I actually came across crafting on uh, UK Shopping TV. I, uh, I was unwell at the time and I was just channel surfing, just uh, having a look to see what was on TV and then I came across who has now become my friend Dawn Bibby and I thought, oh, I quite like that bit of crafting that she's doing. I purchased some crafty goodies and before you know it, here I am, all these years later, uh, doing what I'm doing with Crafters Companion. So believe it or not, none of my family or friends are actually very creative. So the creative side in me has actually just progressed naturally. As I have progressed, I've become really good friends with many craft experts out there in the industry and they're the ones that inspire me. Then coming to Crafters Companion, Crafters TV and interacting with all the crafters at home, seeing what they make. I am a huge, huge advocate for social media because you get to see lots of things that everyone makes at home and that does inspire me as well. Many years ago, before I started here at Crafters Companion, believe it or not, I didn't have a lot of confidence. I didn't go out a lot, I didn't do much. Now, with Crafters Companion and Crafters TV it's given me so much confidence self-belief my biggest crafting success I'm gonna to have to pick two one of them is appearing on HSN America I was really really lucky a couple of years ago to actually go to Florida with Sarah to see how it all works behind the scene an incredible juggernaut that these shopping TV is at HSN that for me is an incredible proud moment I will never ever forget when all of you incredible crafters at home uh, voted enough for me to be in the running of the 2021 male craft personality of the year was such a humbling feeling I was so so proud I was so grateful our crafter TV audience are absolutely incredible for me personally it is personal interaction I've never had the best of health I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers and the support that I get so many people are in the same situation as me health wise but if you just want that interaction you just want to have that chat away about anything random in life on a social media on a crafters TV you know that you're going to get that support you're going to get that understanding when it comes to the crafters at home Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for all the lovely comments coming through. Thank you for the questions as well. Dawn Lavalley, one of our newest viewers, hello Dawn, says, hi all, I've got this collection on HSN and I got it with my Gemini 2. Yes, you are now part of the G2 crew. Um, I absolutely love it. Thank you, Dawn. And if you are like Dawn and you've already picked yours up and you're already crafting with it, go on, send us some pictures. Pictures of your makes. Maybe just pictures of, like if you haven't made anything yet, if you've used your storage box and you've just cut out a load of flowers. I want to see your filled up storage boxes. That would be cool. Studio at craftiscompanion.co.uk. Failing that, pictures of pets. Pictures of pets. Pets. Oh. If she's watching, I mean, she's probably sick and tired of me asking now, but you've got to see this. If you can resend that picture in. So Hillary watches us. Um, I, like, I like all of our viewers, but I particularly like Hillary because she's got a collie. Yes. And uh, I like, you know how much I love me collies. I do. And I've got Molly Collie, and she's got Holly Collie, and Holly Collie's got a friend called Frank, who um, has this eye condition, which means when he goes out, he has to wear goggles, and oh. he is the coolest goggle-wearing dog. Oh. I think I've actually seen another goggle-wearing dog. He's just one of the coolest dogs I've ever seen. Holly and Frank, um, oh. legendary. So if you can, if you can send in that pic again. That would be marvellous. Anyway, we're not here to talk about pets. We're here to talk about this collection, uh, the Floral Creations Seven Piece Showstopper. Uh, and let me just go through it again because I've got a few people asking about, oh, what do I get in the collection? Do I get the pay? All right, let me explain it again. What exactly you're going to get in here? Um, and this is it. This is what you're going to get. But I shall say this only once. Okay, so here we go. Now I'll probably say it a few more times because I'll have to do it again later on in the show. But uh, and I do realise that people um, do sort of watch you know, for five or 10 minutes and go and do other things. So, in this box here, this box contains, and I know Debbie's got the boards, we'll show you again, this box contains your instruction sheet, right? 
you've got your storage box in there so that is included the one that debbie's been showing you over the side of the studio that is included you're going to get your uh, six dividers in there you are going to get 32 die so all of the dies that debbie's been using you're going to get in there and you're also going to get 11 stamps all right so that's all of your stamp sentiments that's included in the box also you're going to get your papers now this one here is the um, summer so they're three by six in size you get 30 sheets um, and that one is your summer color palette in those colors just there that one there is your spring color palette again three by six 30 sheets that's all included if you didn't want the showstopper that's what you're going to get here all right the floral creations collection look at that there it is now if you want to buy more of the papers, you can also do that. However, what the majority of people are doing, they're going for the showstopper. The showstopper is everything that you're seeing here. So for an extra £20 or $20, we're giving you the two lots of linen cardstock. You're also going to get your embellishments and your glue, and you're going to get the magnetic die storage stand as well. And how handy is that, by the way, to be able to pop all of your dies on there, to have to hand when you're crafting, and then, of course, once you've cut out your bits and pieces, you can put them in your storage box. We've really thought about putting this collection together to make it nice and easy for you to use. Now, a um, couple of questions which we'll fire at Debbie in just a second. Where are we stock-wise with this now? I think, what did we say? We were over 35%, weren't we? We are now over 40% of the stock, right, of the showstopper. There's slightly more stock, of course, of the floral creations on its own, um, but you do have to be quick because we are very, very busy. £56 platinum, $64 is the platinum price on this as well. And just whilst we're waiting for the next demo, we can have a look at a dog in a jumper. And, 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 and. Oh, I love, I love Alpha. Oh, my. Who life. is that? Oh, Alpha. Did we see it? Oh. Is Alpha wearing a Paw Patrol? It looks like a Paw Patrol top. We is think it it's Marshall? Marshall. Yeah, it looks, it does look a bit like Marshall. Oh. And it looks like Alpha's got a burger toy. Um, a whatty? There's a, like, there's a burger toy behind A burger ton? Burger toy. Oh, a burger toy. Sorry. Yeah. A burger Sorry. Tron. A burger ton. I thought it was a burger ton. <laughs> burger toy. That's okay. Now I get it. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Ben. Uh, Sorry. And she is also wearing leg warmers. Um, thank you so much. Ma Mary. Mary, is that Mary Langford's? Oh, Mary's oh. a new viewer. And that is her dog, Alpha. Mary, Mary you'll come your to dog know. is beautiful. We love to see your crafty creations but we also love to see your pets as well so if you send any pictures of pets in they'll always get on and if you ever join us for a craft along at any point if you are a viewer with a pet I mean you're up the pecking order I mean you are right up there like uh, rain yesterday with the four cats it should be on again <laughs> but uh, that is not true I don't know how they pick who does it but if it was up to me if you had a pet I mean you would be you'd be up the list but I don't get to choose Anyway, uh, moving back. Uh, Anne says, ooh, there are sentiments, but I, I didn't know that. Yeah, the sentiments are included within the bundle. Um, and we're going to go back to Debbie. Debbie, a couple of questions as to what we can use with this. So uh, Debbie, Debbie's asking, another Debbie, and also Lynn, can, w would the dies cut funky foam and would they cut felt? Uh, they'll definitely cut funky foam. That's that's the given. It'll it'll definitely cut through funky foam. Felt. I would try it with your metal shim okay. into place. Um, and when I say because obviously this is a paper craft die, you can cut materials with paper craft dies. It's the configuration of your plate is you need to add a bit more pressure to it. Um, so you for a felt, I would try this platform. You cut in plate with your felt laid down. Uh, well, sorry, metal plate on the top. Felt laid down on top of the metal plate. Your die face facing down then your plastic shim then your and this is the only time the only time you would put a magnetic shim in with this because it's not a multimedia die put your magnetic shim in and then your other cutting plate that should work totally fine with felt and it should give you a nice crisp now there are different felts out there on the market so there are different felts that have got some have got like a more furry feel to them and that's a furrier they're not like a they tip that they give like a bit of a like torn feel yeah. you know, with our felt and I know that because we, we our Fredder's felt's fabulous for it um, 
it should be fine with that. Uh, but definitely funky foam, they'll cut through funky foam, no problem. Just one layer at a time. Remember, this isn't a multimedia die. No. Um, what I would say is, on certain ones with your foam, it'll depend. Um, so I'm thinking like your thin, thinner ones. You'll probably be able to cut it, but trying to get it out might be another matter. Now, there are release holes on the back of the dies, so you could do that, but just think about it before you actually cut through. Flowers, not a problem. Salmon's not a problem. Be absolutely fine. And also a quick uh, question from Melanie D, who's wondering whether or not you can store your dies in the storage box, or are they too big? Well, actually, yes. Oh? I would say yes to some. Right. Not all. No. I'm thinking stamens. Although, actually, no. Tell a fib. Stamens are going to go in because, of course, nice. all the die cut pieces go in. So, who was that that asked that question? Uh, that was Melanie D. Melanie D. Yes. Bar one. Wait a minute. That one. The right. chunky one. Yeah. That probably wouldn't, but most of them would go in there if that's what you wanted to Good do. Shout. However, if you've gone for that showstopper, you've got a magnetic stand. Of course, you have. You don't need it. No. I keep dropping things on floor. Would they all go on there in one fell swoop? I think you could get all of them on there. Can I stand by you and try well, it? I'll tell you, you what, rather than use mine, I'll give you the studio set. Give me something mind. to do, doesn't it? You I'll know. give you something to do. Hang on a minute. You know, make there yourself you go. useful. You, oh, wait a minute, that's just one of them. Hang on, oh, hang on okay. two ticks while I go and grab another one out. Because this is the studio set. I've got my own. I'll give you that job to do. Yep. Are you ready? Let me just move that out because I'll be able to show that one. You you go off to work over there. Right, I will. While I just show you something else as well. Oh. Yeah, not, not like I'm telling you to get back over there and leave me alone, Ben, no. but get back over there the and leave me alone. There. Uh, thank you very much. Right. It's not mine. It's not mine. All oh, right. That's the studio set. You I've got my set. You tell me to go away? No. I would you never tell you to go, go away. away. Never used to be like that until she started hanging out with that Nigel May. I feel like second best now. <laughs> It's fine. You will always, he know, <laughs> and he knows this, you will always be number one in my life. Yeah. I've told him straight. Yes, yes. Can I just tell you something else that you're getting in the box which we failed to mention, or I might, I might not have heard you mention this. There's no one you did, did to you? a word I'm I so say. sorry, Ben, I'm I've so sorry. I've mentioned it at least five times. I'll let you off there because you've been busy. I have been busy, I've been cutting things out. Because the last thing you want me to see me in two hours is cutting flowers out the whole time. Yeah. I've already pre-done that. I've shown you the first set, but I have pre-cut things out. And of course, storing them in your little storage kit. But what I love is this, um, what you can make sheet. All the configurations that you can put together. Um, and I love that because there may be at times that you look at it and think, I ain't got a clue. I ain't got a clue what to do. These are the example pieces. These are example compositions. Mm. That's how you can put this together. This is going to work beautifully with the layout collection. It's going to work with any collection you own in your crafty stash. And I love that for that reason. Now, I've got myself a card base. I've gone a bit smaller with this one. I've gone to a six by six. Um, and I've just created, um, using some of the Wildflower collection paper, I've popped that uh, in because I wanted the more muted side. Because okay. I feel like the flowers upon the flower pattern paper would be a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. So I've just decided to keep it nice and simple, nice and stripped back. Yeah. And we're going to go over the top with this, like so. Now, I've used one of our nested stitch dies. This is the Moroccan tile. Oh, yeah. Um, a fame favourite of mine. Yes. I absolutely love this one. And I'm, again, just going to use this, just in fact, let me use my tape pen for this one, just to pop that down um, and give me, uh, give me a base of where to put my composition flowers. So, pop that onto there. Now, I've also already got one of the sentiment stamps. This is not one from my crafty stash. This is from your kit, from your florals creations kit. Yeah. And all I've done is popped it onto a flag. Little flag, little oh, tail yeah. flag, mm -hmm. just cut that out um, and just stamp that onto there. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to shape, so we've got a bit of shaping to do. Yep. Um, now I am going to shape um, still the same way that I did, but I'm also going to use my poker tool. So I'm just going to come in and shape some of my petals. Um, I'm going to curl these round each end and then push in when I turn it on the other side to give it a nice uh, feature. And I might do it back to front this time. So. This you is always the... shape your petals. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it just adds get... a little bit to it, doesn't it? it, it absolutely. It, it just adds adds something to it. Yeah. And you can cut them, you can turn them, you can have them the opposite way. Um, it doesn't really make much of a difference. It's as long as you do something with them to give them that 3D feel, mm. so to speak. So, again, I'm going to come in. In fact, Debbie, do it the right way, girl. Oh, you would do it the right way first. Hey, dear, what am I like? What do you like? What I'm, having, I'm like? having loads of fun over here, by the way. Thanks I for this. I can hear you. I, I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear you going ahead over there. 
Look at me it's getting all the good jobs. It's got to be done and tested and tried. Tried has. and tested. That's that's how I would look at this. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to put leave my flowers there for the time being. I've got all my centerpieces started, but I did say I was going to do a little bit more than just shape. I'm going to take my pokey tool and I'm going to shape my flat uh, my foliage. Foliage. Um, you can do it with your petals if you want to as well. I want to add some dimension. Now, I've kept these white because I've got a white background here. And I am a little bit of a stickler when it comes to colour coordination. So I think sometimes um, don't be afraid. Don't think you've got to throw every single bit of colour on it. Just think what matches, what yeah. works nice together. Um, and again, I'm just going to shape all of these. I've already cut some out in gold to match the gold that I've got in the background, some cut out into the white. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it's just all about that shaping and a nice curl as well, give it a proper proper feel to a, a leaf, like you would with any leaf in nature. So I'm going to give it a nice little curl as well. Um, and of course, could curl it in the centre. How are you going? I knew. Have you done? Oh, he's cut his comb. Told you, didn't I? I said they would. Yeah, I did say. We've done a marvellous job. Thank you. But how amazing to have that in the bundle. Yeah. And really useful because do you know what? I wouldn't. I wouldn't take them off. I'd no. keep them because I think you would use them so many times, mm. so many times. Uh, so yeah, thank you, Ben. Thank no you very much. I'm not taking them off again. No, keep them on. I'll do you know what we might I'll do? Leave them there for you. Thank you. Just in case you need to. You're so, you're so sweet. You Nigel are May a little do this. sweetie. He do this. Who? Nigel May. Who, exactly? <laughs> Who? Who? Exactly right. Who? <laughs> <laughs> He's on holiday at the minute. He's gone away for a few oh, days. He? he has, so he's probably watching. I'll, cl I'll, I'll, cl I'll clip, clip it and send him. it. Clip it and send it to him. <laughs> <laughs> I love that man with all my heart. I love him. <laughs> mm. Is that him you do too, don't you? Because oh, you've, not, you've Sorry, known yeah. him a long time as well. I have, yeah. In fact, I, have. I think you've probably known him a lot longer than I've known um, him. About eight years. Yeah? I've known him. Yeah? Is that the same for you? Well, I were a fan. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I've been a fan for a long time. It's just that he's my friend now. Yeah. And one of my dearest friends, and I love him to bits. So, yeah. And of course, uh, you know, before you met me, you were a big a fan. fan. Big. Of Loved you. Shh, Nicola, shush. She was, Debbie was a big, big, big fan. I didn't know how to spell your name when I first met you. No. I remember the first post that I did, I called you Mosley. Mosley. <laughs> it's fine. I've been called worse. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Right, shall we do a bit of comp Come composition? On. Let's go do a bit of composition. Actually, before I do, let me stick my stamens in the centre of my flowers because uh, I've got this lovely... I'm going to put that big one into the centre of there. I'm going to use, uh, again, I'm just going to use a bit of hot glue just into the back and, again, just pop that down. Um, and then... Let's just make sure I've got that right. Now, when you're using hot glue, just be careful because yep. it is hot. Yes. Um, so I just want you to be aware of that. But, again, I'm just going to... Pop that down. And then um, I think I might use a little bit of tacky glue. Tacky glue into the centres for my little small ones. Uh -huh. And just because... Do you know what you could be doing? You could be touching these up with a little bit of glitter. Oh, I like that. You could that be glittering the edge, gilding flakes, whatever yeah. it is that you want to do. You could, you mm -hmm. know, I'm keeping them nice and plain because obviously it's the gorgeous cardstock that's, that they're coming with. But you could absolutely be doing uh, that as well. So I'm just going to stick those into the centre. Mm -hmm. I've got my little picky up stick. For anybody asking, it is a sticks too. Yeah. Um, it's one that I use all the time to pick up my gems with. Um, it's a pencil that you just sharpen as well. You can. Um, Easily pick these up. Uh -huh. We—I don't know if we sell them. I mean, I've got mine in store, because I've been using them for years. Uh, but yeah, they, that, just in case anybody asks, because okay. I know—I know it'll come. Right, let's start composing. So, right. I'm just going to move this to one side. Bring the card back in. Shall we um, take a quick pause? Because I'd quite like to see you compose this in real time. Yeah. I yeah. know we're coming to the end of the hour. 
So uh, we will see that in just a few moments' time. A um, few comments coming through. And keep the questions, by the way. Um, we love this. Melanie D says, thank you, Ben and Debbie, for answering my question. You are welcome. That's what we're here for. Uh, Shadai says, I know, my Lord Ben. You have to have a word with that Nigel May. I'll be watching him for you, Lord Ben. Thank you, Shadai. I can always count on you. Um, Alexandra says, I like the storage box to be available on its own, personally. Uh, it would be better in my limited space than the Sun storage box. I love this whole set. Uh, best product since the Cosmic Collection. There you go. Ooh. High praise. Um, Myra says, I absolutely love watching the two of you work together. Well, thank you so much. We love working together as well. Um, Melanie D says, they all fit on that stand. Wow. You're welcome, everybody. Demo of the day. <laughs> uh, Karen Owen says, loving this collection and lovely to see the CC husband and wife team back together again uh and listen don't forget if you want to pick this up the showstopper is proving very very popular indeed we are over 40 percent of the stock gone uh platinum price on this if you're here in the uk it's 56 pounds if you're shopping in the us it is 64 dollars and if you've joined us, a very warm welcome to launch day. <laughs> My name's Ben Mosby, not Mosley. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, we're having a great day. It's always a great day when um, TV wife is in town. There's always smiles, there's always fun, there's always laughter, there's always the inspo as well, and that's why you're here. And the inspiration today is all about the flaws. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this collection is magnificent. I can understand why it's flying out of the door because it ticks all of the boxes, doesn't it? It ticks all of the boxes for newbie crafters, experienced crafters alike. It ticks all of the boxes for all of the projects you want to make, whether they be cards, whether it's home decor, whether it's to decorate boxes, whether it's to, um, you know, decorate big projects or whether you just want to have little embellishments of um, floors for your projects. And it's a collection that's never going to go out of style either, is it? It is so many beautiful dies, so many beautiful stamps. You get all of the paper in there as well. This is the collection on its own here, all right? So if you just want the floral creations collection, this is where you get your instruction sheet, storage box, dividers, dies and stamps with your um, papers to be crafting with. If you then want the showstopper for details on the screen, you get all of these added extras as well, which is an extra £20 or $20, so £40 or $55 worth of content. That's disappearing very quickly. Well over 40% of that stock now gone. Um, and thank you so much for all the lovely comments coming through. Um, these flowers are so pretty and spring-like, says Laurie. And um, who else is commenting? Melanie D also. Thank you for your fantastic comment too. We're going to get back to the uh, demo because just a few moments ago, Debbie had made all of her beautiful florals and it's now time for her to compose her masterpiece. <laughs> and I've got a few more lined up this leaf for later mm. on as well. Um, so I've got my leaves set out, I've got my foliage set out and I just, I, when I'm ever composing anything, before I actually stick it down, because there's nothing worse than starting to stick down and realising you need to, <laughs> need to change something yeah. or alter something. So for, for the time being, I'm just going to start to put my um, things around before we stick down because we can always add to this and I'm just, you can see where I'm going here. I'm going to have that one in the centre and those coming around. And I, I like matching flowers to sit around that uh, lovely shape. And then add things like leaves in. Um, and again, I'm just going to compose things in. Loving these. Uh, do you know what's lovely about these is you can snip into them. So if you don't want to use the full, if I just grab a pair of uh, scissors, you can just snip into them and just use certain little elements. So I'm going to snip that down down and just bring in a little bit rather than the full lot because yeah. then, I'm, then I'm being able to use these somewhere else as well so this is all about a bit of composition so mm -hmm. again getting your things into place before you start sticking down it's just a rough idea mm. of where to put things so because I'm happy with what I've got I'm just going to move certain ones out of the way and um, now I'm set on which way around I'm going to do this. I'm going to start with the very top. So I'm going to bring in my dotty tape pen. These are filigree pieces. You can use things like your tacky glue, um, or you could actually use things like your Xyron if you've got one of your Xyron sticker uh, machines as well. Um, tacky glue is a good one in your decanted uh, bottles. Um, always a good good one that I, I, I'll be totally honest, at home, I like to save on my Xyron. I just use that for shows normally. Yeah. Um, 
but I'm fast running out, so I'm, I'm, I'm being very careful in how I use them. Um, but tacky glue in the decanted bottle is the one that I go with. Uh, I just think it's a little bit easier to uh, to go uh, go for. I'm going to actually put my... I know it sounds bizarre, but I'm going to put that in first because I'm going to sit my flour around it and then the leaves over the top. Does that yeah. make sense? Mm -hmm. So, again, and shall we have it... Shall we go straight or shall we go... Uh, I like it a little we'll bit skew wonky. Whiff. Yeah. Right. Skew whiff. We'll go over here, skew whiff. So again, I'm just going to pop a little bit into each of the tail corners and the end. And let's give that a little push there and a little push there. And let that set. Give it a little bit of a curl so it's got a bit of a um, curvature to it mm -hmm. rather than a flat one. And then we're going to start composing. So I'm going to pop in and I'll put these little pieces in last. I'm going to shovel those in. Shovel. I'm going, to, I'm going to stick those in, not shovel those in. I'm going to stick those Floors in. Floors don't shovel, do they? No, They come don't on. shovel at all, Ben. No. They don't shovel at all. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> uh, and then just start to stick these down. So I'm going to pop that in. Now, if you are using, like, chunky glue, you've got a bit of manoeuvrability. Manoeuvrability. Manu Thank you. Mm. Um, if you using things like a hot glue gun, you don't. And that's what I just want you to remember. Um, I'm just using this for speed more than anything. Uh, but, and of course, let the, let, do you know the string? Yeah. The string is there. It will come away when, when it's dried. It's not something that's gonna stick there permanently. Uh, so you can get rid of those gluey bits. Um, but then I'm just gonna start sticking in the rest. Again, if you're using uh, the other glue, mm. the wet glue, you've got time to compose it and get it into place. Um, the flowers are so pretty and spring-like, says Laurie. They are. Um, and loving this collection, says Karen Owens. Denise Davies says, Afternoon, Ben, Debbie, and Suit Suit crew. Uh, just finished work, and I'm all yours. Well, that is marvellous. <laughs> and Margaret Burke says, Really good to see... Uh, really good to use up your scraps. I feel a job coming on with yes. scraps to use some. Because obviously you get the, 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 the papers. Yeah. But, yeah, great scrap busters as well, these, aren't they? Because people will have boxes upon boxes of... Bits of cardstock uh, yeah. left, weren't they? Perfect for scrap mm. busters, yeah, absolutely. Um, and you will, you'll find loads. I've got, uh, I've got one, I say one. I've got a few <laughs> boxes that surprise you to know because I won't throw anything away. Um, but I've got a few that I um, have got uh, that already I can think these flowers are going to be perfect for it. I use it for things like this, flowers, butterflies, all those kind of things. Yeah. Um, now, because I have, of course, like I said, this is a permanent glue that I've used, um, I can still get in and lift them underneath to push those where I want them to be. Um, and again, it's all about that com composure. Com mm. composition, composition, not composure. Composition and composure. I'm, that's the one. Bit of yeah. both. Yeah. Bit of both. Got to be composed to make sure your composition is correct. Exactly. <laughs> 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 oh dear. Mm. So you can start to see it to come together, but I'm just going to add in the extra finishing touches. And I am going to use again my dotty tape pen with this uh, just to add that in. And let's pop that into there. Beautiful. They are, honestly, this is, this is you know, it's a great collection. Like mm. I said, there's going to be so much that you're going to be able to do with it. I can't wait to get me hands on the Craft Along oh, project. I'm going to find out from Lily after the show how long I've got to decide. And that'll be my decider and what I'm going to make with well, it. Well, I can probably tell you. Oh, can you? Well, well, how long you've got as in, like, the length of the show? Yes, please. How long will I have? Uh, you will have two hours. <gasps> It's five well, to seven on the Wednesday. Might have, it might have to. It might have to be a. Oh, oh, I'm so might excited. Have to be a, I'm super excited now because uh, I might have to think about this one and the kind of things that I want to create with it. Ooh, um, hit me with your ideas if there's something you want to see as well. Oh yeah, anything particular that you uh, you fancy seeing Debbie make? Oh, oh. fire in the. Uh, Oh, it's going to be a good day, that, because we've got a launch day as well. Have we? Yeah. What day is it? 28th. I can't remember what I'm launching. Uh, new embossed frames. Oh, mm. yes, I do. It's nice to have a little reminder. Do you know the reason why I've got confused? Because I've got a few. Mm. got a few uh, little uh, launches coming up. And we've got a craft on the day after as well. Uh, and, and a what? We've got a craft on the day after as well. A craft along the day after, not with a new launch, surely. Stepper cards. Oh, my God. And then we've got a cartload the day after as well. Oh, my dear. <laughs> me and you going to be busy. Look at <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in that craft room morning, noon and night. 
<laughs> I don't mind it, though, to be honest, when you get to work with such joyous That's products. It. Now, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to wait for this glue to dry properly before I peel that off. But this is the kind of thing that you can be creating with yours. It only it doesn't have to be a full statement piece. That's just going around one of the um, nested dies and then taking just a centre stage on the side of your project but of course I could have gone full hog and gone all the way around again but really really gorgeous florals I know you're gonna love I know you're gonna use you're gonna use these over and over and over and over and over and over again and over again how fantastic very beautiful card Debbie says Sherry Ann Telsford love it um, Kim Rice says the hanging basket card would be a great craft along oh is that the one in front of you that's a gorgeous one. Yeah, it's got to be that one. I don't know why I walked all the way around here. <laughs> I could have just pointed that one. Um, well, th well, thank you. We shall, we shall note that one down. <laughs> we will uh, note that one down as a potential. Um, but yeah, keep them coming. If there's anything over Debbie's side as well that you sort of caught your eye, you fancy seeing, then let us... <laughs> I knew you were going to pick that one off the stand. It's beautiful. I mean... It's beautiful. It is oh, what beautiful. can I say? It's absolutely beautiful. It's divine, stunning. They all are. Mm. Let me just tell you, look at the work here. They are beautiful. From Bianca, from the design team. Look at that gorgeous elongated one. Mm. <gasps> mm, mm, mm. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I better put that back, actually. Sorry, yeah, Jamie. Yeah, that's it. Here we go. Sorry, there we go. Coming up, coming there we go. Up, coming Spoiling up, that up. shot then for it's you. It's there. There we go. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Let us know. Um, any of those tickle your fancy? And we will do our, I say we, royal we, do our very best to, um, to do the one that you want to see. Right, very busy right now for the Showstopper collection. Um, Stock-wise, we are now at 50% of the stock gone of the Showstopper. It's been very busy. It's resonating with so many people, I think. You've had some fantastic demos. And that's the great thing again, isn't it? You know, as much as you get sent away with this kit with your... Uh, little A5 instruction sheet, it's invaluable, isn't it, that you've got all of the demonstrations and ideas with Debbie that you're getting in this show and indeed in the last 45 minutes of this show too. You know you've got that craft along coming up as well, so you can get this today, have all of your kit ready for that craft along two weeks tomorrow and get more inspiration there too. Just so many great reasons to buy. And of course, the kit itself gives you so much possibility ever wanted to be your own paper craft florist then this is the kit really that you need to be going for you've got your all your dies in there as we've seen that fit onto that magnetic stand as well which is incredible that you're going to get in the showstopper you're going to get your sentiment stamps in there too actually so 11 of those included stamps for all sorts of different occasions then you've got your two um, paper pads which is all about the different colours. So that one there is actually your uh, summer linen pad. So they're all three by six, 250 GSM, with some really lovely colours, perfectly fit to size. So you can pop these through, whether you're using your mini or your midi, to cut all of your florals out. And then, of course, you've got your storage box included in there too, to keep all of your die-cut um, flowers in and the majority of your dies, as we found out as well, save one. If you just want to go for that kit on its own, then you can. Majority of people, as you've heard, with over half the stock gone now, are going for the Showstopper collection, which is everything else that you're seeing here. So your two lots of your linen card stock, that magnetic die storage stand, and then your glue and embellishments as well. That would set you back another £40 or $55 if you were to buy that individually. However, we're saying another £20 or $20 within the Showstopper cost, and then you've got all of that. And it's lovely to have the stand, which is going to get all of your dies in, as we've shown, more cardstock, so when you do run out of these, you've got plenty of cardstock to be playing with, and you glue in your embellishments. Also worth pointing out that if you do like the colour palette that we've got as far as the um, small linen card pads are concerned, you can buy more of those individually as well if you want to add those into your basket. Or indeed, if you're just going for the floral, collection, uh, floral creations collection on its own, you can then add in more of the papers as well. Uh, Melanie says, I bought the floral creations and the magnetic stand and a few more things, lol. Uh, thank you to Shirley, who says, what a very beautiful card, Debbie. I believe we're going to have a short little break, but before that, we're going to have a look. What is that? Is that oh, the chipmunk? Oh! Nancy oh. Carper's chipmunk <laughs> named Chippy. He's really cute. That's 
is so cute. I didn't even know you could get those as pets. I That's didn't. so cute. It's Chippy eating. Is that pumpkin seeds? Yeah, sunflower seeds. Very cute, Chippy. Um, I love this. Freya the cat. Kirsty D's cat, Freya. Apparently, she's just recovered from the hiccups, apparently. Aww. And I'm not sure whether that's a look of, come and tickle me, I really want you to, or come and tickle me and I'll take your hand off. It's, <laughs> uh, you can never quite tell with cats, can you? Never quite tell. Um, oh, look at this cute little boosh. There's Aww. Loki. Oh, Jotty's, Jotty's dog, yeah, Loki. Very cute. Um, I mean, got the cutest little face. You just want to go up and go, woo, 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 woo. And then you've got Rue. Look at Rue. Um, oh, Olga I've Vasquez. Got a Roo. I've got, we've got a little Rue. Have you? Yeah, well, my daughter's doggy Rue, yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's spelled differently, but oh, that is she beautiful. Oh, is it Roo. Rue, yes, I yeah, didn't, yes, Rue, yeah. Yeah, a little, uh, a little Rue. Rue. Oh, I love oh. Rue's raincoat. It's gorgeous. And I love Rue's um, different colour eyes as well. I know, Very she's got a blue eye, hasn't she? Yes. Is it a she or a he? I want to say she. I want to say she, because I'm going off by my yeah. little poochie. Rue, Rue. Oh, thanks everybody for sending the pics in. We always appreciate that. Uh, keep sending those through. Any pics, as I say, you want to send through as far as uh, any projects you've made with this kit, feel free to whack those through as well because we all love a gallery, don't we? We love a gallery. Listen, with over half the stock gone, we are going to take a short little break and um, you need to check out your baskets when we come back. More inspiration with Debbie. And in the meantime, let's find out more about the one I call McGiggles. started about 20 years ago, um, probably a bit longer because I've always been quite crafty. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it and there's not many places that you can say that where you work, so it is definitely the people that make it. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. There are people out there that watch us and, and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family uh, and that is so important to us. The Gemini is just the most awesome machine out there on the market. It is second to none. It is the most incredible machine that I've ever used uh, and I've been crafting a long time. Uh, when you come across a machine that does everything that you need it to do and you know it's never going to need updating, uh, you know, it's not like phones where they're going to bring a new one out. The only difference they can do with the Gemini is the size, um, is the colour, um, but the Gemini itself is, uh, you know, proven to be the most amazing product out there on the market. So yeah, it has to be the Gemini. Hi, I'm Becky. I'm the soft craft expert for Crafters Companion. I've always crafted. Um, I think because my parents worked at Shepperton Studios, I, I lived, I grew up at Shepperton. Um, they were always working, so my holidays and my weekends and my evenings were spent at, at the um, studios. And I just sort of sit around with the other artists and they'd give me a bit of clay to play with or some fabric. Um, so we were, I was always making things and there were a couple of us, a couple of children around the same sort of age. And we just used to make clothes for our, our Cindy dolls. I'm flighty with my crafts. Um, I want to try everything, so I go all out and I decide tomorrow I'm going to be doing candle making and I buy all the stuff and I make candles and then I lose interest and I move on to the next thing. I want to be able to have a little go at all sorts of crafts and I've always been like that ever since I was a small child so I think I can turn my hand and give anything a go. My craft inspiration I think comes a lot of that comes from the internet, looking online, being able to watch um, sort of artists producing bits and pieces as well as sort of um, you know, just general crafters but a lot of my inspiration came from um, sort of my mum and my mum's friends which were all sort of um, great designers and um, people that, that created all sorts of different things. 
The Crafters TV audience have been so kind to me. So when I first started, and I've not been here a huge amount of time, and I've done a little bit of presenting, I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting, and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling. And it's nice that people keep messaging in. You know, we see the same same people, and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people. So it's just the fact that people like what we do, and they're pleased. And I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made when they've been inspired by the shows. I think that's great. My biggest achievement, it's, um, it, it, when I put it on social media, I said that I was more proud of this than I was when I had my children. Um, it was when I won um, a, a Demo of the Week. I was just absolutely gobsmacked that I'd won Demo of the Week. I don't often win Demo of the Day, so to win Demo of the Week, I was really, really super excited. Oh God, I can't give you the gossip because I promised that I wouldn't give any of the gossip away, but it is great. Um, we, lots of us stay overnight in a house here, um, which is brilliant because we all get to know each other on a like real personal kind of level rather than just colleagues. So it's a really great atmosphere. And there's so much to learn from all of these people that I work with. So I, I feel really quite blessed um, to be part of this. And um, it is a happy family, I have to be honest. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for the comments coming through. Uh, just order the showstopper because I need to get out of my comfort zone and use more flowers on my cards, uh, says Teresa Campbell. Uh, well, absolutely. I mean, this is the If you want to use more flowers on your cards, great buy. Uh, Kirsty D says, Ben with Freya, Freya the cat. It's definitely tickle the tummy. Comment will take your hand off, though. That's what I mean about cats. You never know, do you? <laughs> you never know. Um, at least you always know, you know where you are with dogs. Cats, not so much. Um, Kim says there was a hanging basket from an aperture posted by one of the design team too. All right, we can we can look into that potentially for the um, for the craft along as well, which is now going to be a two hour. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's that funny laugh for? Because because <laughs> it was only one hour, <laughs> and now it was going to be an easy day for me. <laughs> oh, I love it! I love it! I love it! I love that! I love that they can change things. I love it. Thank you to producer Nicola. Well yes, done, producer thank Nicola. You. And just to say, uh, Karen, Karen Fisher, um, the box is, is in, it's in the box. So you get this, whether you, irrespective of whether you buy the showstopper or just the collection on its own, you'll get that storage box because it's in the floral creations kit. Yes. So if you just want to buy the floral creations kit on its own, it's in there. All right. Um, so if, if you don't want the rest of it, that's fine. Buy the floral creations kit and you will get the box to store everything in. Um, right, I think we're good to go to get back into it. Well, do you want it? me to just recap what's the, what you're getting? Well, I mean, not? If you... look at the boards again, because we've not done it for a bit, Yeah, let me just, because I'm just, all I'm doing is just shaping. You've seen me die cut, you've seen me shape. I was just doing a bit of shaping there. Uh, but if I bring back in <laughs> 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 the board that I don't know what I've done with, what did I do with it? Did anybody tell me? Don't tell me I chucked it on floor, Ben. Let me find let it. Let me go back a little bit. I should have got go it, to back. be fair, shouldn't I? Have I put it down? Have I dropped it on the floor? Is that it under there? What on earth? How have you got it all the way down here? I did say that I was dropping things everywhere. <laughs> I told you got red. Are you all right? Oh God, I'm gonna have to mop his brow. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Thank you very much Did for that. Did you just mop my head with then? A clean cloth. Oh, thank you. Don't worry, I haven't been anywhere. Clean. Clean cloth. It's my glasses cloth. Oh, is it? Yeah, you're okay. Good. Right. <clears throat> so that we show you what you're getting. Honestly, I don't know how I do these things, Ben. I'm forever dropping things all the time, forever losing <laughs> things all the time. Right, in your box. So you'll get this beautiful box. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been more prepped for this bit, shouldn't I? <laughs> box. And in the box, you will find... Minus flowers, you will find this plastic box. Yes. Is where you're going to put all your florals when you've die cut them out. You will also find your sheet in there, and that's your sheet that will give you the floral creation compositions and everything else. Let me just bring that bring that into play. So you're going to get that as well. And then in the box itself are all these metal dies. All of those. I mean, that is a lot of dies. And in total, if I remember rightly, is it because it's 32. 
Thank you very much. 32 metal dies because then there's the stamps. 11 stamps. Thank you. And then the box and then the paper that's mm. in there with the com yeah, the, the composition. And then the stamps themselves, the sentiments have got a, probably a, quite a nice varied collection in terms of what you want to say from a birthday uh, to be. Uh, let's have a read. In fact, let me read some of these for you. Sorry, Jamie. Uh, live a life in full bloom just for you. Friends are flowers that, me, uh, that never fade. Love that one. Uh -huh. Uh, sending love thinking of you bloom where you are planted Aww. I love that uh, be beautiful happy birthday have a fantastic day best wishes and you are blooming wonderful you're Mr. blooming Mosley. wonderful eh? uh, but that's everything that you are getting in the floral creations box itself mm. that was if you was to get that on its own and then of course you can add the additional items however Ben will recap everything else that you're going to get and I'm going to put this somewhere safe yeah not to be trusted with Don't it drop it on Just the floor I again continue doing a bit of shaping yeah then. unbelievable I wouldn't um filter around on the floor for anybody else <laughs> only only uh tv wifey Nigel wouldn't do that would he <laughs> uh, if you want to go if you want to go for the showstopper it is all of the extra goodies as well. So it's £20 or $20 extra for more of that than in cardstock. Um, and then that magnetic die storage stand and the glue as well. Uh, just for those eagle-eyed viewers, because I know what happened. We, we, there was a bit of confusion. Um, as the bundle slightly changed uh, since we've gone to air. So if you've noticed things, you can... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure that cardstock was the fabulous feature a minute ago. Well, well done, you spotted the deliberate mistake. But listen, in essence, you're, you are still going to get the apologies if you wanted particularly the um, fabulous fuchsia. Um, give customer services, of course, so apologies for that. But you are going to get the wild at heart and you're going to get the Kingfisher cardstock in there alongside your glue and the magnetic die storage stand. It's still £20, $20 worth of value. Um, well, sorry, £40 or $55 worth of value that you're paying £20 or $20 for. If you don't want to go for the showstopper, I know a lot of people actually, it's sort of about neck and neck at the minute actually um, a lot more people now also just going for the floor creations collection which is absolutely fine if you don't want the added extras then you can do that and again if you just decide well i'll go for the floor creations kit but i want more of the um, six by three linen cardstock you can buy that individually as well the best thing to do is hit the shop the show page and you'll see all of the deals there the different bundles and all of the individual items as well and also some other items that you might want to pop into your basket uh, which will help you get the very best out of this collection also worth bearing in mind we have got our valentine's section over on the website too uh, where you can use that code which we launched yesterday it's valid until the end of play tomorrow right we have got i can't believe this show has absolutely flown over i've absolutely loved it um thank you so much everybody um, for the lovely comments, Terry H says, I've just ordered the showstopper. I'm watching and working as usual. And as you go back to Debbie, let me ask this question, which has just come through. One of my favourite questions I'm ever about to ask Debbie, because I don't oh. really understand it, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dreading this now. <laughs> I am dreading this. This is a great question. Deanna G. I love Debbie. I love Debbie too. And thank you for this question. Oh, no. Please, can you ask Debbie... Oh, God, what is it? What is it? Did she ever find her missing Gouda in her craft room? Me missing what, eh? Gouda cheese. <laughs> Please explain yourself and answer the question, because this is brilliant. No, I've I, do you know, I, I did, it was in the bin. And I hadn't realised, but I, I'm forever dropping things, and I'm dropping... I, I take... I do take cheese. Stop saying that. I take cheeses into my craft room when I'm crafting on my Facebook lives. Yeah. I have to Keeps nibble in between. It keeps me going. Uh, but I do lose. I do lose all sorts in there. Fortunately for me, because could you imagine if it had been left oh. and never been able to find it? Could mm -hmm. you imagine the smell? The smell would have been something else. Um, it would in the bin. So it's fallen in the bin. So it's fine. But I'm always losing bits. So you lost, the, you lost the cheese during the yeah, lives? Yeah, lost cheeses through lives. I've dropped coffee, Pepsi, Pepsi Max, Jerry, all over project. <laughs> I'll do all sorts. This is the thing. This is the, I'm a real crafter. Yeah. You know, I love to craft. I've crafted for a long time. I get carried away when I talk and I'm, for, I'm forever dropping things, not just equipment, tools and everything else. I'm forever dropping everything else as well. So, yes, yes, I did. Yeah. Uh, that is a brilliant question. I just wish I'd seen that actual live when it happened. Uh, by the way, you can catch more of what Debbie gets up to on her um, YouTube channel, which is uh, at Debbie Robinson CC. 
Um, we've all, we, mine is at Ben Mosby CC. Thank you for all of the likes and follows. Feel free to like and follow both. Um, I've got another Mosby's Makes dropping maybe later on today, actually. Um, oh, what are you making? Well, I had a go. <laughs> I had a go with the layout collection. Oh. Um, it was a bit of a. It was a bit of a. I'm not going to show it now, am I? If I show it now. Uh, now I'll show you afterwards, Debbie. Okay. Um, it ended up being, I think, one of the most hilarious half hours of crafting that I've ever done because everything sort of went wrong but ended up going right. That's and, good. Yeah, and in the end, the card was a bit like, eh, but I don't think you'll watch it to see the finished project. You'll just watch it to see the chaos that I managed to get into over the course of a half hour when I'm crafting on my own. <laughs> but I love, to, I, I love to show and prove that anyone can have a go and have fun. Talking of having a go and having fun, let's get back to Debbie, the pro. <laughs> right, we're going to create a dome <laughs> card. Um, I've already cut my pieces out, so um, I have got, again, I've got a card base uh, ready to go with the dome card onto the front. Um, and this is um, actually measures in at 12 inches by 6. Do you know the card blanks that we did? Yeah. That you can get the card blanks and envelopes. It's mm -hmm. one of them. Oh, OK. Uh, so, I've, so I haven't made this one myself. It's been pre-done in one of those pre-kits. Um, and what I have done is use the beautiful collection. Do you know those gorgeous quadrants that we had? The four pieces that you could get out of one sheet. Could use it with a six by six as well. But mm -hmm. I've given myself a base. Now, I have created, uh, using our um, nested dies again, but I've created a dome, which is six by eight and a half inches, scored at an inch from either edge. So this is eight and a half by six, so that it fits over the card. Yep. But I've scored it at one inches, and I've scored it at seven and a half inches. Or you just flip it around and score it an inch either way. Okay. Because that's going to create the dome. But of course, to create a dome, I need to give it that feature. Now, I am not going to stick this dome down first, because what I'm going to do is work on this piece, um, because I am going to tuck the dome underneath that part and underneath the card base as well, but create that dome. But, of course, I want all my flowers in there. I'm not going to make life difficult for myself. Mm -mm -mm. No way. So I'm going to work on this piece. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're going to just now bring in... Now, I use my circular nesting dies, one of the circles, cut it in half, and I've just put some foam pads, because it's going to act as a little hanging basket, which, I mean, somebody must have read my mind when they said that about the hanging basket, because I'm like, oh, my God, seriously? They've read what I... They've read one of my demos. So this is the base, and I have, I've only put foam pads at the bottom because I want some space to be able to put things in as well mm -hmm. and load up lots of things. If I seal it all down, I won't be able to get that. I've cut myself three strands of uh, craft card, um, and this is just to give the illusion of a uh, craft basket. So I'm going to just drop a bit of glue. I've purposely left them longer than what they need to be, but that's just so I can do a central one. And then some crisscrosses as well. So this is going to create your hanging basket. And I'm going to come in and cross it from the... As though it, it, I mean, I used to love hanging baskets. Oh, yeah. My friend's mum, uh, Linda, she, Molly's no longer with us, but Molly used to uh, make me them every summer. So oh. I'd have them to hang at my door. Oh. Um, since Molly's no longer been here, mm. I've not done it, because I, I, I'm, not, I'm not very green-fingered. Oh. I don't know about yourself. Well, I'm not very green-fingered, but I love a hanging basket. I love hanging baskets. I bought these ones a, a while back, proper, like, shopping TV product, where yeah. you, um, you, you, you basically had the little... Um, you could have, like, layers of flowers. Yeah. And then you could, like, cl you could clip them in place with, like, a little gate on the side. So you could have, like, the flowers over the top, but then you'd have, like, flowers sprouting out from the sides of your basket as well. And you'd also oh. pop in this little... Um, I can't really describe it, but it was like a spout... With the, like a, a ball with holes in it on the end, and you'd put that into the middle of your hanging basket so that you could water through the spout and get the water to the middle of the soil oh, rather than watering on the top. And fancy. I, yeah, I, we always tend to do... Well, I say we. I do baskets every year because I find them really easy to do and really easy to look after. Aww. And, of course, our garden has been like a swamp the last three years. Well, so it has been, been hasn't it? it? Not now, though. Not now. Not now. This year, garden mm -hmm. party at mine. You're oh, all invited. Yes. Yep. Yes, absolutely. Now, I am just adding in my florals. I'll add all the foliage bits in in a second, um, but I just want to get all my flowers onto there. Um, all of these flowers are from that kit. You can just use your sheet mm -hmm. to create um, the ideas of putting those flowers together. This is the fun bit. So I've got my main flowers on. I've got a couple left over there. Um, and I've got my foliage. But you what? Foliage. Oh, foliage. So, yes. 
I can never say the word. Foliage. People can try and teach me over and over and over and over again. Guess who cannot get it into her vocabulary, no matter how hard I try. And anybody coming to see me on Saturday, please don't try getting me to say it, because I can't say it. But do you know um, what I love, though, is I've heard more people now call it foliage <laughs> after you call it foliage. So you've kind well, of... It's, it's, it's not around. intentional, believe you me, because people mm. do say that it's an easy word to say. Yeah. It's just one of those, I can't, just for love and money, I can't, I can't get my tongue round. No. I mean, I'm the same. Casuality, not casualty. Casuality. Have you watched that year, Casuality? That's what she used to say to me. Oh, casualty. Casualty, yeah. Do you know mm. the long-running soap drama in UK? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I found 40 out? 40 years it's been going now, something like that. Probably a couple of years ago that I'd been saying, there's this reptile, right? I-G-U-A-N-A. -A. Iguana. Iguana, yeah. Yeah, uh, up until about two years ago, I've been, I've been saying it wrong and no one ever corrected me. What do you mean? Why were you saying? I was saying Iguana. 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 And everyone was like, what? Iguana? <laughs> I said, yeah, Iguana. What do you mean, Iguana? Iguana. I don't know. No one ever corrected me. I mean, not yeah. that it's a word really that comes up in their uh, everyday sort of conversation, but yeah. <laughs> Iguana. <laughs> Iguana. <laughs> Iguana. Well, I thought, well, I actually thought that's one word I've been able to do. Iguana. Iguana? Iguana. Yeah. I tell you what made me kids laugh, because I still do it now, but I try and, I try and behave around you, because it's your favourite sweet. Um, <clears throat> please don't judge. Um, so, I know you call them Haribos, but I thought they were called Haribos. Haribos? Because my nan -an taught me that, actually. Um, so I used to call them Haribos, and I thought that's what they were called, until my kids laughed at me one day, and I was like, what are you laughing at me for? And they were like, that's not what they're called, Mum. I was like, really? So I thought they were called Haribos. Haribos. I found out they're not, they're called no. Haribos. Haribos. But then you can say things like that with cars and things like that, that you think you, think you know the, how to say it, but then it turns out oh, it's well, not that. It's like that new adver advertising campaign, because I drive one, I've been driving. Well, I've been, I thought I've, it was called Hyundai. Hyundai. I've been driving a Hyundai for the last ten years in different guises. It's not Hyundai, though, is it? No, I know. It's, it's Hyundai. Hyundai. Or, Hyundai. Or wherever she says on the. Yeah. I'm like, what the heck? Because they take the Mickey out of everyone in the advert, don't they? Going Hyundai, <laughs> and then it's not. It's, it's what is it? Hyundai. Hyundai. Hey, Hyundai. Hyundai. I mean, really? Yeah. We should really? have all listened to Kanye West, shouldn't we? Because in one of his raps, he sings about the uh, driving off in a Hyundai. Not, he doesn't... Does he? Yeah. Ah, Not a high and die. Ah, now then, you see, it makes sense now. Yeah. When I was little, it. says Lillian, I always thought to let signs were toilet signs. <laughs> I was exactly the same, Lillian. <laughs> to let. I love that. Toilet. You see, we all have different sayings for different things, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just turn up at someone's house randomly. Can I use your toilet? It's too late, not toilet. <laughs> I love it, Lillian, I love it. Um, do we know when the stepper card dies are being released? I know the... Um, oh, it's, it's this coming Monday, is it? With, uh, that would be with Craigle and uh, McGiggles. I know I've got a craft along with that. You have? I have. Two weeks on Friday. I know, you did tell me about that, producer Nicola. <laughs> Can I just say, I can't believe that you have never decorated a hanging basket in real life because if you can if you can decorate a hanging basket on card like that but it's different on card well is it <laughs> is it it is you should take that card out and uh in the summer get yourself a proper hanging basket and use that as your reference <laughs> should do. I'll do that. <laughs> and, oh, I've got another one there. In fact, actually, do you know what? I think I might just add one more. Just that is down incredible, here. though. Yeah, I mean, they are, honestly, I think the composition is going to be your fun part. Yeah. And I can't wait to see what you all share on your uh, makes as well. Yeah. Um, I am going to leave it there. Uh, what I'm going to do is pop my... Um, dome oh, yeah. shape. I'm just going to give it a little run across my table. I would normally use a bone folder, but I've left my bone folder somewhere, actually, forever losing that blinking thing. I'll tell you thing. what I'll do as well, whilst you just do that, I'm going to come and get that board so I can show that again in yes, a minute. Yes, you can do that, because I have got one more demo that I want to try and squeeze in as well. Um, it's, at, it's at the bottom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> It's on the floor! <laughs> the reason I'm popping it onto the top of the card is so that when I stick that down, um, it means it's keeping it nice and neat. Now, for me, you can stick that down and then slide that in, like so, which is what I'm going to go with, because we've got glues to be able to allow that to happen, you know, yep. to allow that to work. Um, and again, it just makes for a neater finish 
Um, but if you want to tuck it around the outside of your uh, card, as in the inside, sorry, of your card base, let me just lift that up and show you what I mean. Let's pop that there. Uh, you can do and then it might make life a little bit easy for yourself however I'm quite happy with that I'm just going to put a little bit of wet glue to give it the sliding factor and help me move that and make sure I've also got it the right way around make sure, make sure yes Debbie you're not doing it the wrong way around and just slide that in and if I need to trim any off I can do mm. two minutes ago it worked <laughs> two minutes ago Ben it worked it went in there mm -hmm. um, let's Get go in there. there we are let's just make sure I'm not catching anything though and just slide that in there we go into place and I'm gonna make sure I've got my hanging bit at the very top there we are and then just seal that down and then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my sentiment Lose a bit of hot glue again. I'm going to pop that there. And then I'm going to finish off with just a little, little diddy ribbon. Little diddy ribbon. Little diddy ribbon in that top corner. And oops, take your red liner tape off, Debbie. You're not going to stick that down with red liner tape on there. And then just pop that into that corner. Beautiful. And there you've got yourself a beautiful hanging basket card. There you go. That is gorgeous. And I'm just I'm going to stick that down. Feeling like we're probably going to, we should definitely do a vote for the demo of the show, I think, at the end of this show. Um, I think this is definitely uh, worthy of finding out which your favourite make is. And I'm thinking we've probably got time, we've got time for another demo after this. Yes, yes. absolutely, absolutely. Um, Kirsty D says, in the basket, out the basket, in, out, in, out. Finally, the collection is in the basket and checked out. Uh, I feel like I've done the hokey cokey. Well, I'm glad that you chose in and now we'll get it out to you and you'll love working with it. Uh, Laurie says the card is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. We are two thirds of the showstopper now gone. It's a very busy show. We called it. You kind of get a feel, I think, when new launches arrive as to, you know, whether they are going to be flying out the door, you know, whether it might be a little bit more of a kind of a niche thing and people might or might not go for it. Flowers. I mean, it didn't take a genius to work it out that this was going to fly. Absolutely flying out the door. Everybody wants the flowers. Everybody wants a kit like this, which gives you the ultimate versatility when it comes to making all of these different floors. And here's the other thing as well. You know, I know Debbie was talking about um, you know, making f uh, hanging baskets and floral arrangements in real life, you know, being a bit of a, a worry. Um, if you're a little bit worried doing it in paper craft, don't worry because you've got all of the demos that you can follow with Debbie just now. And also you've got your little um, instruction sheet within the floral creations as well. So it will help you construct your flowers. And I think once you've perhaps looked at that and done a few, you'll be flying, you'll be away. And, and isn't the joy about this again, look at all the different dyes that you've got isn't the joy being able to cut these out in all of the different colours that we're going to provide you with as far as that linen cardstock is concerned and then thinking to yourself all of the different cardstock and papers and vellums that you've got at home to then start really going to town and creating floral bouquets and floral creations for all sorts of different occasions there are 32 dies that you're going to be getting in total here if you get the showstopper they all fit perfectly onto that magnetic stand. I'm not going to let my work go to waste, everybody. Look at that. They all go on there perfectly for you. So you've got them to hand to be working away. And then, of course, once you've cut all of your florals out, you can then store them in your box, which you will get. And just to reiterate that again, because I think a few people have got confused, whether you go showstopper or just the floral creations on its own, you do get that storage box included alongside your 32 dies and the 11 sentiments that you've got down there as well. And that beautiful sort of cursive font. Um, you've got things like be beautiful. You have got have a fantastic day. Best wishes. Happy birthday. Bloom where you are planted and you are blooming wonderful. Um, sending love, thinking of you. Um, live life in full bloom just for you and friends of flowers that never fade <laughs> I thought that, you know when you like preempt a sentence i thought i was going to say friends of flowers that never need watering that would have, wouldn't have been a great sentiment would it that no that's what came into my head though anyway moving swiftly on uh, yeah, good job I didn't come up with the sentiments. They would have been rubbish. So the showstopper is going to bring you all the dies, all the stamps. It's going to bring you all of your papers as well. And then the showstopper collection is all of these extra goodies too. So you're going to get your um, Kingfisher linen, your Wild at Heart linen cardstock, the magnetic die story stamp, which I've just shown you. And you're going to get your pot of all-purpose glue in there too. Extra £40 or $55 worth. 
but you're only paying £20 or $20 for on top. So um, grab it whilst you can. Very, very busy. I think uh, some people do wait the chance their arm and wait till the end of a show like this to jump in and get their goodies. I think as we get to the end of the show, it's going to be busy the two hours in between and of course I know we've got a craft along coming up at five because again we're live at five don't forget with an Easter craft along um, we will obviously keep you up to date with where we are as, as far as stock levels are concerned with this collection uh, Jane Austin says I've ordered the showstopper for a happy birthday to me is it your birthday today Jane happy birthday and a great bye uh, Evelyn Kiefer says I can see a sh yes I can see a shadow box frame filled with a spray of flowers love that um, like that idea great idea again goes back to that sort of um home decor sort of feel with this uh karen fisher i have a lot of flower dyes but what sold me on these is the embossed detail on them and wendy graham on youtube says i got it from qbc but i've ordered more of the paper pads today i love it and it, if you are like wendy and have this collection already you're thinking oh i wish i had got some more of those papers they are available for you individually on the website just hit the shop the show shop the day page all righty we've got about 15 minutes left on the shoe and we'll get a vote in as well um, let's get back over to the creative side of the studio where i can see debbie making more flowers i know yeah and i'm dry I, I wish i'd stuck these on ready but just again just to show you some composition um I, earlier in that first demonstration uh, second demonstration i just used these as a little foliage bit mm. but actually where you can put a flower so all of these dies you will find this is when your little pick up sticks will come in uh, really well you're just going to attach them to it with your chosen glue so i'm just i don't know if, can you see that okay or shall i put some cardstock underneath it actually do you know what i'm going to do i'm going to make life easy for myself with this uh, uh, let me just rub that glue off I'm going to stick this down first. Now, I am going to use uh, a bit of glue on the back of my hands. Before you do this, oh, yeah. make sure, because this is a water-based glue, so I know it's not going to irritate my skin, but that's not to be said with everybody. So this, no. is, this, is, um, this is just something I personally do. Just do a little patch test if you're going to do it right. Do a patch test, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to pop that on to the top here like this. OK, I'm going to stick that down. And then I'll bring in these pieces. I think this will make it easier for me to do it. Uh, so I'm just going to pop down some glue dots just all over the tops of those uh, areas. And then can you see all these little pieces? These are petals. Aww. So again, I'm just going to pick them up and I'm going to stick them down. So I'm going to bring them in. And I think you'll find this a lot easier to do when it's stuck down to your project. Yeah. Uh, because otherwise, it's a bit of fiddly. You'll probably get loads of glue on your glass desk. Um, and everywhere else so when you're doing this um, and you can always like I said compose it um, off or on your cardstock but personally mm. um, I prefer on our Rachel's just said if you had any of that um, the flocking you know the, fl uh, the flock powder that we used to oh, have yeah. so that yeah. would look great on the end of the sprigs as well you could do that couldn't you yeah absolutely mm. that's a great uh, a great shout out that one all right I'm just gonna I'm trying to concentrate as well as talk at the same time okay. Uh, but you can start to see just that particular one sprig coming on really, really beautifully. Yeah. I am going to have it coming um, just off the edge there as well and stick that down. Don't move, don't move. Let it dry. Debbie, it's tacky. Don't dry straight away. There we go. There, that's better. I'll let that dry and move that glue there. Um, oh, one more. I thought oh, actually two more because I've seen that one there. And then I wondered where it was. I know I cut enough out to do a lot of them. And just pop those on. And then I'm going to build the rest up around it. So I've, I've taken my nested dies again. You can tell which are my favourites. Mm -hmm. Can't help it, but I love them. Um, and then we'll just do all of that composing again. I've already stuck some of these double flowers down so you can start to see um, how you put these on. Again, though, I think I'm going to put some of my foliage down first this time um, and what I would have potentially have done is stuck some underneath first and then but I, I should be okay at going in let's just lift that up and being able to stick it down uh, underneath yeah. yeah because it's it's tacky glue so it doesn't dry instantly you've still got a little bit of what we call uh, maneuverability mm. a bit of wiggle time not as much as you would get with the all-purpose which is a fabulous one to have anyway 
Um, but you can start to see, and I think I'm going to come in with another, in fact, I'll have that darker green one. I love the fact as well, whilst we're watching you stick, I can see comments going through of our viewers sort of discussing the different florals that they can make for different times of the year as well because like the world is your oyster with this you've got oh, all absolutely. the different shapes you know Laurie's just said this would be gorgeous to make fall cards you know using more of the foliage you yes could, you could create beautiful like yeah. harvest cards couldn't you yeah absolutely um, i'm just gonna snip these off this is a lovely thing about this as well you can snip into them you don't have to use them whole you can just snip in a few pieces so again don't think this side will have stuck down just yet so I'm just going to put those pieces down. There we are. And then start to add the rest into there. Um, so I'll put my little flowers here. I think what I'm going to do is... Oh, now then. No, I'll have to use my hot glue gun. I would possibly, potentially at this stage, use um, chunky glue. Oh, yeah. gives me a bit of wiggle time to push mm. things in and, and things like that and i'll show you what i mean by that in a second um just because we know hot glue gun is fabulous but it will stick your florals down in a instant yeah I, I really do mean that it's like it dries almost in, instant in, instant instantaneously thank you i know you don't immediately immediately very quickly why do i try and say these fancy words when i can't say them and why don't <laughs> i just say it as uh just plain old English, Debbie. Plain old English will do. <laughs> I do it all the time. I think, let me sound clever and I'll use a big word. But then the big word never comes out and then I look stupid. At least you try and say the big words. Sometimes I try and think of the simple words and they don't come out. <laughs> well, it's not just me then. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to snip into this again because I'm going to use a couple of the pieces. How are we doing for time, guys? Eight minutes. Oh, we've still got a vote to do. Oh, we've got we? a vote to do. It's okay. I'll just compose this and I'll show you the finished card. Yeah. Um, rather than try and rush it all. Mm. But you get the gist and you get the idea of, you know, putting it. In fact, I'm going to leave that for a second. I think the temptation gonna... with this as well, isn't it? It's like to know, well, almost knowing where to stop. Well. Because you just want to keep adding more <coughs> and more, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Mm. When do you stop? Um, you stop in eight minutes' time. Do I have to? Yes. Do I have to? Can I not just carry on? I mean, you can carry on afterwards. The cameras won't be watching you. <laughs> Maybe you go on your, go to your YouTube channel and continue. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just love, I love uh, creating with them. Um, I mean, do you know, if you don't want to use the stamens that are in there, that are in your, in your kit, you could put, obviously, you could add jewels and gems into these. Um, but I know that you're going to be using what you've got to your fingertips because it gives it a real, a, a real nice finished mm. feature. And it's something that you said, you know, if you, if you sort of get prepped with this and you cut out all of your shapes and you store yeah, them in your box. Yeah, get them all ready, pop them into your box. Once you've got them, it's a really, I guess, fun process and quite enjoyable yeah. process of just, you know, picking which floors you're going to use, creating your own bouquets and... You know, I just think you're going to have such a fun time with this. And how pretty is that again? Well, that's my topper that is then going to go on to um, an easel card. Yeah. So I'm going to bring in my easel card. So I've just made an easel card six by six. I'm going to leave those flowers because I'm going to use some of those in a second. Mm -hmm. um, and I've just used some papers that I've had in my pad. This is from the Daisy pad, yep. uh, the double-sided Daisy one that had that lovely um, wooden flooring. Do you know that water, uh, wood... wood um, Wood, uh, wood finish. Wood finish, yeah. Wood finish flooring. Rose is just wondering, and I know you showed something similar earlier, but Rose says, would you put cards with flowers on an ordinary envelope or would you make an envella box one? So if you were going to put the flowers on, would you do an envella box? An envella box yeah. would look lovely, yeah. Yeah. If you're going to post, keep them flat, lay them flat. Yeah. If you're going to add dimension, put them in an envella box. Mm. Uh, yes, absolutely, because that'll make a difference when you are um, sending it, and it'll, yeah. look, it'll look really lovely when you do that. Now, that's my easel card, so I'll just explain. I um, Obviously, and again, if you're using a 6x6, six six, for instance, uh, it's already got the score line in for you at the 6-inch mark. Um, what I then did was added an extra line because I wanted a twisted easel. So I've just gone from this top corner to the bottom, right in the centre, so that it creates this easel feature. And that's where this is going to sit. So I'm going to just pop a little bit of glue. I'm just going to get my dimension right. That way, Debbie. Debbie, do it that way because you're normally... That's it. Just have to... I have to do this myself, talk to myself when I'm doing it. I'm up, I've done that the right way now. Uh, yeah, pop that into there. And I'm going into the centre. Can you see it's like the centre part? Yeah. So that when it comes up, 
um, it, it, it stays like in the focal part. And then all I've done with this is I've stamped the stamp in um, into the uh, middle of the uh, nested one. I'm looking for my foam pads, Ben, and I'm like, you've had them in your hand two seconds ago, Debbie. What have you done with them, girl? Do you know what? It's there contagious because um, Sensational Sky says, I've just been looking for my phone for the last half hour and I found it in the bin. Oh. She says it's contagious, Debbie. It is. I'm telling you, and I shouldn't have my craft bin right under my feet. That's the problem. Well, I said under my feet, it's beside of me. Mm. It's lethal. Do you know if I ever lose a die or a stamp, it's the first place I look? Yeah. Because I'm terrible for it. Now, I'm popping that there as my... Um, Flopper stopper. Thank you. I knew it to catch on. <laughs> but then I'm going to decorate some more florals. I'm going to put some leaves onto there. Are we still got time to do a vote? Because I'm very I'm, conscious. Uh, I'm ever so sorry. Rachel's a quick counter. She is. She yeah. is. Um, and I, I, in fact, you know what? Shall I stop there? Because all I've done is decorated yeah, and decorate around. I'll finish that off because mm. that's my finished one so that you can see. I've just decorated, and if I turn that around, we'll put those flowers back in, um, decorated the round the flopper stopper um, and just added. So it ties in, so it looks really nice. And then, of course, it'll lay flat. And depending on how much dimension will be depending on the envelope that you put in. I know that fits into a 6x6 six six envelope, OK, but if you're adding more dimension you're giving more shape to your flowers then add an envelope box into there as well uh, but honestly I know and I did say I mean I've been excited always since I knew about this lodge um, I've been excited about every single aspect of this collection just because it's going to be the one that you use all the time whether you want to add a flower or two to a project or a finished project that you've got or whether or not Debbie that's not yours or whether or not <laughs> Uh, whether, I'm sure I did four. Have I done four today? You did four. I thought I'd done four. Where have I done with it? I'll find it. I'll find it. Bear in uh, mind, there it is. Um, yeah, whether or not you're adding one embellishment or you're going to make a full creation with it, this is a very useful kit. Um, right. Simply useful. Mm. Right, are you ready for the count? Yes. Let's get started. Number one, one. Right back at the beginning. God, that feels like a lifetime ago. It does. Number one is this beauty. Just using one flower and one stamen. Number two was using that gorgeous, um, just down the side. So that's number two. Number three was the dome. I'm using the dry one in this just because mm. uh, the other one's not set yet. So uh, number three is the dome, hanging basket. And number four is the twisted easel. Number mm. four. One, two, three, four. Someone's knocking at the door. No, uh, vote now. You've got about two minutes. You've got to be quick. Uh, whilst you do that, let's just remind you of the Floral Creations collection. In it, brilliant. Hopefully you've taken away a lot of inspiration from this. And if you've been on the fence, then now is the opportunity to jump in, particularly if you want that showstopper. Uh, heading towards 70% of the showstopper gone. So busy, so, so busy. And I know as many people uh, who are loving the showstopper also loving the Floral Creations kit on its own. So it's entirely up to you. Wherever the budget lies, um, you've got opportunities to get this. And if you do decide that you want more of those papers, for example, uh, you've got all the individual items as well available on the website so you, you might just want to buy the um dies and stamps on the own. I think you can do that with the storage box. If you don't want the papers, you've got that opportunity as well. So it's entirely up to you. Uh, but those are all of the beautiful dies. You're going to get 32 of them in total, just turning you into your own paper craft florist. You can have fun with this. The great thing is you get the dies there. You get all of that linen card stock included too if you're going for the floral creations or indeed the showstopper and then you get the storage box so you can cut all of those out spend an evening cutting all of those different petals out in different colors and all of your foliage and all of those sprigs and ferns and storing them in that storage box and then you've got them there ready for that time when you want to create whether you're making a beautiful card or you're creating embellishments for a box maybe you're thinking about jazzing up some home decor projects you've got all of those bits and pieces there for you you're also going to get your sentiments in there in stamp form so you're getting 11 of those included i think covering off a whole host of different occasions and then of course alongside that you get your instruction leaflet you're also going to get that storage box, as I've mentioned. And if you go for the showstopper, you will also get your magnetic die storage stand. So you can store all of your dies on there, no problem at all. So all 32 fit on there. So when you are crafting away, they are there, they are to hand. And then within the showstopper bundle, you're also going to get your linen cardstock from the Kingfisher collection, the Wild at Heart collection, and you're gonna get a pot of your all-purpose glue as well. That should set you back another 40 pounds or $55, but it doesn't, because we're lovely here, and we go, just give us another 20, and you can have all of that included in the showstopper. 70% gone, um, very, very busy. 
been a great show. It has absolutely flown over. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. We will, I'm sure, um, touch on and mention again during the Craft Along a little bit later on. Craft Along coming up live at five, where we're bringing you that Easter collection, an hour long Craft Along. Demo of the show though here. Four. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, you know, I've enjoyed working with every one of, of these cards and, and just showing you the kind of things that you can be doing with them. I just can't wait to see what you get up with them. I mean, I, I've loved them, but I can't wait to see what you guys do with them as well. Um, so thank you very much for that. We will put that towards there. Uh, but I'm going to give you a sneak peek of a very Yay. simple, easy craft along project. Um, and I've kept it simple. I've kept it easy because we've only got an hour. Uh, but this is going to be your easel project using that. Go I mean, it was, so t it was tough, this one, because I didn't know which one to use. I love all of them. Um, but I've gone with the bunny and that gorgeous egg-shaped one to create a nice little easel card that we're going to create in real life time crafting in an I would say an hour's time then so I need my dinner too um, so I'm gonna have a late dinner yes uh, yeah what's the late dinner called um, late dinner oh yeah because you've got a brunch haven't you yes so is it called a uh... afternoon tea yeah, we'll go with that. I was trying to come up with something clever, but it's far too late for that now. Um, but yes, massive thank you to Debbie. Always fun. If you've got any of these items in your basket, for goodness sake, don't forget to check out. Do that now, and we'll meet you back here in a couple of hours' time. Also, don't forget, over on the website, you have got the Valentine's section too, where you can use that code which we launched yesterday. So do check all of that out, and we'll meet you back here live at 5. That is midday Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Until then, from me and Debbie, thanks so much for watching. Bye.